Hit bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> hit the sell button, trust. That's what I'm talking about. Just hit the sell button. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. Just hit the sell button. Trust me. Just just hit the sell button. Hit the button, hit the button. What's up YouTube? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me sort my screen out so I can see what's up. Don't send charts in yet. I ain't even got time yet. So have a chill. Don't be so Don't be so needy. God. See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even sorted my screen out yet. Come on now. Hope you all had a good Asian session because, uh, well, probably later of Asian session. It wasn't quite in Asian session, was it? It was quite late on, so it was during Asian session. But nice to see it moved and did something, so we'll see what we can grab this morning. Pretty cool. So, morning, everyone. You know the rules. Have a chill. Plan your stuff up. Get ready to send some charts in a bit. Gonna. Go grab me a coffee quick, turn the liquidity up, and then um, we'll have a go at see what's up. I've got potential that looks to, I'm, in, I'm already in sales, I was up earlier, um, so I'm not going to try and claim what I did it on the on the thingy, um, but there is options potentially down here is what I'm planning right now. So if I was to take second the secondary entries, creating a resistance up where we are now or somewhere around here would be sensible to then look to come down further, or if we start to push down solid with momentum, maybe somewhere around this level here. Then the higher time frames four hour what we talked about yesterday if you're paying attention yesterday no one traded in this bullshit because there was an absolute nightmare in there and once it came out you had the option to fill this whip which would be easy which happened before asian session started as such and then when asian start, uh, session started it kind of pulled right back up and then pulled its way right back down and then we were talking about potential targets on the long time frame yesterday and the day before this will be an area to look for 128 pips up until the bottom of that candle roughly so from that candle down is the cleaner area but in this point where we are right now on the one hour you have a bit of a dodgy area to play with so that's why we're getting a little bit of resistance right now and we're also on the daily if you look on the daily you can see we are coming up to a very important level we had all the way across here so we're below here now which is the key that's that's important but you can see we're coming up to this level here on the higher time frame so you want to keep that in mind because um, it may slow things down but the men momentum we've got on the four hour which is for our session is currently saying we're going down as well as everything else so I will be looking for sales so if we break below that line you may want to go with it but again you've got to go with your own risk um, or like I said I'm already in from f further up here near this yellow line and I took entries yesterday evening um, for Asian as well so I'm in pretty good position right now but I ain't going to claim then I've done then live you know come on we'll find another trade for this morning so see what happens see if we can break this kind of resistance area we're forming oh, sorry support area and you should have a good option but then again streams have been on four minutes you don't need to rush we've got ages yet so we've got the whole of London to come there's no panic to jump all up in it now and lose money so stick to your plan do your thing get planned get banged you know I'm going to go and uh, grab coffee you know because that's a it's a very important part of the day you know ring one of the market makers Turn liquidity up, and then we can have some good trades. I'll be back in a minute. Head and shoulders, fucking head and shoulders. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Look, I don't use that stuff. You know what I mean? Come on now, you see my hair? Jeez. Anything come up? Just looking. Mm. Oh, what? I just saw EJ. I was in and I got stopped at break even last night. Oh, I just dropped Ellison. <laughs> oh, I know why. EJ? Mm. Yeah, Japanese was good. I was in from EJ. Real good. I was 
came from 12214. Well, actually, it hasn't gone down that much, it means 36. Oh, yeah. Had a six pip stop block. That's, that's, that's a nice move. You're looking at anything, Ralph.
Yo yo yo. All right, let's see. You own, you end trade, any trade. You lots of lots of trades. Not yet. I've done some trades early on. I've done nothing on the stream so far. So no, that is the answer. Simple fact is, you want to either see this broken down here, or see a, a form of 30 minute or 15 minutes uh, resistance form currently forming a little bit of support, and potentially start to reject this area. So I'll be waiting to see some kind of resistance form up here. Then come further down potentially, but we don't forget we've gone through it already this morning. We're coming up to a daily level that's going to be pretty key. But if we've got enough momentum and strength into the volume sessions, we may well break further down. But at the minute, we do not know. So what do you do? Sit on your hands. That's what you do. Same as those yesterday. How many people got hammered yesterday? Hands up. Own up if you got hammered yesterday in all this crap. Who got hammered in all that? Nick, thanks, man. I'm gonna read that in a minute. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I don't know if you got the same one. You see. Yeah, I'm just I'm just reply back in a bit. I'm just trying to get my head around it while eating. Yeah, cool. Cheers, man. Cool, cool. Uh, win rate on these streams, I don't actually know, but we've on the live stream. I take losses all the time. Trust. Um, not all the time, but on and off um, but on the live streams I don't think we've lost for about once we've taken on the stream I don't think there's been a losing trade for about roughly two months but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I can't be sure see a lot of people got battered yesterday look so all them people that got battered yesterday either they weren't listening on the stream or didn't take notes of the solid four hour consolidation area we were talking about which we spoke about for nearly a week and a half all between here and here nasty levels to play in there that is not a fun game. Hopefully no one got hammered too bad. Obviously once we broke out you can see we get solid mo movement and that's through Asian which is not a super solid session right so in regards to volume so to get that type of movement gives me a lot of faith in what was going to happen today but after such a big move you're more likely going to get some kind of some form of consolidation of some sort and then once that happens you'll get the volumes coming and then we'll break out again whatever direction hopefully we'll continue down but like i said be very careful we've got a solid daily level to the left where i've got this mark here basically it's also a one hour most recent area of consolidation so keep that in mind but if we start to push further down we've got this area from here to here which we spoke about all week so far if we get down to here we've got 128 pip range based on the high time frame but to the left we now got to consider daily levels which we are currently getting towards right now so use your wrist properly like I said wait for lower time frame resistance potentially to form and then look for some movements coming up soon uh, Danny Brown I hope your charts marked up the same I mean it's not it's not particularly tough I don't think it's just one of the things once you see stuff that are relevant very important levels they're going to be the same or very close right so you should be able to see the same stuff you know I'm no different to you lot I just you know maybe I've done it a bit longer whatever it makes no difference I'm still going to see a solid support resistance level or a solid rejection point or you know you'll still be able to see that yes you might have this line up here or down there or down a bit further or something but you're still seeing the same stuff right you should be on a similar wavelength because you know the chat's a chat that's where all the data comes from that I look for is on the chat so you can see the same stuff um, your camera isn't working my camera's not working yeah on YouTube oh, yeah just the black. oh it's because of zoom okay. I bet hold up oh so you can see me on zoom um ah, yeah that's probably why hold up then I wonder if that's what happened earlier then ah so I've got a black spot in the corner let me What's see that? let me see <laughs> <laughs> <That's a dick>. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can deal with this. Karma's gonna deal me up now and stop me out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know it will. Oh, let's see if I come back on YouTube. There, that might be me now. Am I back? There I am. There we got some. There's back in the. There you go. That's better. I think I'm on YouTube now. Yeah, it's working now. Yay! There you go. Thank you, those that told me. Right, let's have a look at a few charts in a second, see what's up.
I think you're worrying about my camera, man. I don't need to see my ugly face. Come on. <laughs> Jeez, you should be looking at the charts. I don't need to see my face up on here. <laughs> Alright, so. What is, what is the one hour reaction line? I can't see anything to the left. Right, go on to one hour, which it says one hour. Go to the left. What's on the one hour? At the left. Go over to the left. One hour. So, at this point, that was where we had rejection before we broke up. And once we broke above there, we used on the lower time frame, not 15 minutes stuff, you will see how it reacted at this stage. And you'll know that that was the top of the range, which is the top of the one hour at the point we were coming into. Once we broke above, we could take buys and then continue up, which I think was, what's the second? When's the second? Last Tuesday, maybe? The stream we took last Tuesday, we took buys in here to continue up and out the range. This was the session we were in. And then once we broke out, up between here into New York, New York pushed it out and carried on through. But that was our target level on the high time frame based on stuff to the left. So that's where you're looking last Tuesday. Maybe even further across as well on the high, high time frames, if I remember. There you go. You can't see nothing in one hour. Come on now. See? It's not hard, it's all on the chart. So hopefully that gives you an idea what's up. You only got to look, man. It's like, it's a one hour, but it's also a daily level. So go and look on the daily, and you can see that level on the daily how important that's going to be. So this may well be, could be a stopping point. Uh, we don't know yet, but until we see solid form of support and then we start breaking away, it's not really done anything yet, right? So at the current time, we're just kind of consolidating at the bottom end after a pretty solid move in Asian. We could well pull down further. We could well pull up. We don't know right now. I mean, get yourself in a plan. How are you going to take buys? How are you going to take sales? I mean, what is your plan, right? Me personally, I'm going to look for further sales, but I would like to see a more solid resistance form. I'm also in trades from earlier today, so I'm not in a panic to take a sell. But obviously, if I see an option, I'll explain it out. You know what I'm saying? Come on, BN. Big chart, man. You've got to look at it. Look at the chart. There's nothing to the left. They will be there. Trust me. There's, there's stuff there. Relevant le relevant levels will be marked. Things that are not really relevant. This is for where I was looking at entries on a five minute, basically. As we were coming back up, retesting this area as this came up. As soon as it started to pull down, Kevin will kill me. But I was actually watching a one minute a little bit around this level. Um, just to see what was up, actually, in all seriousness. And as it started to break down, I got in around there. So... But it, no it, this one pushed, nah, no, legit, this, I didn't go on a one minute. This pushed up on a five with no bottom wick and then started to come down. I took it as it come into here. So that I'm still, I was still using five. But this, when you see that on one minute, was a pretty legit place. So as it started pulling away from there, you can see how this one pushed up. And then there was one that had like no bottom wick. I think it was this one pushed up and then came back down or something like that at the time. But yeah, either way, I, was, I didn't take it on the one minute. I was still looking at five minutes. But yeah, we'll see. A five minutes mess right now with the little little range thing. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's have a look at a few charts. Uh, news today, we haven't got lots. There's not lots and lots. We, I was looking at an early one. There's not a ton of stuff today, so quite clear move. But obviously yesterday reason we all consolidated as well as it being a solid four hour consolidation zone we had massive news coming up or potential massive news coming up in the afternoon anything from yesterday's asian session all the way through london new york was all building up to um the us us um data releases and stuff so that's what you tend to get when you've got big news coming most moves in the market don't stick so if they start to break out they don't really keep going you know Gosh, my bad Corona. My bad, my bad. The corona. I don't know. That, that was like, yeah, that was a bad. That was a little sneeze, man. Got me out of nowhere. Yeah, that's it. I, I never sneeze, man. I must be getting something. So there's your news for the day. Not an awful lot. So keep that in mind. Not that we've got a clear path. Doesn't mean we're just going to keep going down or something, you know. But we'll see what happens and what's taken into market with uh, uh, open or at least half seven, twenty to eight. We may well see some. Um, Movement start to happen a bit more solid than what's going on right now, so we'll see. Right, 
Yes. Pat. Oh, I've just been stopped. Oh, 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 we've just been stopped. We move. If we had it above the previous. Th oh, you, yeah, this one. Yeah. That's That's right. I just remember where I was looking then. So I was looking. I thought I was on 15. And I, was, I thought it was this one. Um, right, how important would it be? Um, yeah, job loss. Yeah, all job loss claims are going to be important. They're all pretty uh, important news folders as such. I mean, data's data, right? Important data is going to be it's going to be important. So it's going to make a it will make some kind of movement in the market, I'm sure. And obviously at the minute, there's a big emphasis on jobs, right? Because obviously what's going on in the world. So you may find it's a very it could be a big deal. But again, with all news, same as what I talk about all the time. News is news until it's happened. End on the screen. And I've got no interest in that. I don't trade news. So after the event, like yesterday, gold done its thing. People are trying to jump in at like 70, really low down, right? I got in at like 17.25 or 24 for about 100 and something pips because I was patient. And I still took my move. Let the big boys do their thing first and then get involved. That's that's what you got to do. You start jumping in and guessing news is going to do this, guessing news is going to do that. You're going to get hammered because they'll get whipsaws, you'll get absolutely hammered. And then you'll be like, oh, I've just lost... But if you wait and are patient, and if you've got like a decent kind of, not an economic change, but an outlook which is really important, then you may find that the continuation of move will, it will keep going for a long time. And if it does go for a long time, you can jump in at any stage if you use the lower time frames to find a solid point, right? And then at that point, go in with it, move will continue, and you're in, in a safe position. Um, so, if candle breaks below there, you'll be looking to take that. Fine, makes sense. Oh, strong area of support. Yep, it may well do. That's right. It could well, we'll trace back up there. We've got a solid area up there. Could well do. Hundred percent. Yes, yeah, nice options. I think you've got ideas that make sense. Hundred percent. This level there is pretty concerning. I mean, above that. Yeah, I'd want to see above and then close above before. I'd, uh, sorry, close above and probably get some kind of form of support before I'd even think about going up at that stage. Uh, but yeah, I like the idea. It makes sense. It does make sense. Is there any chance we're stuck in the range again, like estate? Well, you don't know, right? Until you see it. So at the minute, as I said, we're in this little little box there. It's only 30 minutes, right? So that's what it is. At the minute, we're stuck in this little box of nothingness. So we'll see what happens if we break up and start going up. Then we're going up. If we start to come down, we go down. You know, there's not much you can do at that stage. So, like I said, we've explained a lot. There's levels to the left that are really important. The one hour and the daily level, which is pretty important, um, which you don't want to overlook. And this is why you should look at your high time frames and plan things as well. Um, volume indicator, well, do not follow any volume indicator. We'll look at the candles daily, every day at the same time. We'll look at the same stuff. And I know certain candles perform bigger than others based on volume. So I know them candles most of the time tend to come so you can pinpoint your time and then you can think right how do I get in a trade between say 7.40 and 8, 8 o'clock for example how do I get in a trade from 8.15 sorry 8.30 till 9 o'clock how do I get into them trades you've got to be looking for the option before you get to the time where you know volume has been pretty strong recently you've got to plan ahead and this is what you do with back testing go back and look at your like we were looking a minute ago over here these sessions Right, so these little sessions of what we've marked the other day, this is, I don't know what day, Monday probably, we looked at that and then see on different time frames in there of our session of trades, how could I have got this big move? How could I have got this move? How could I have got this? Go on different time frames, see if you can find better options. That's that's how you want to go and look at your session. You don't need to look at the whole day. You need to look what happened prior to it for your higher time frame momentum, if you got bullish, bearish, la la la, still. But then you want to look in this, how you would have caught the trade, same as here. Where did we catch the trade? What was the best options at that point? More than likely this one here on 30 minute. But if you look at it on 15, you may find a different thing. And that's how you need to kind of go about looking at your own session. Because not all of us have the same session of trade, right? So some of you might trade all day. I know the majority of people in the chat group trade literally 24-7. I don't see the point in it, but, you know, it seems to be the case. So, you know, there's a lot of things you can do there. And go back and look and then find the momentum and volume in your session without having to go and rely on some indicator that's with delayed data it's because the data is only provided once the candles close right so it's no good 
Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> Tremaine got fleeced in his sleep. How did he get? Oh, you used to, you got stuck out five times in my sleep. Man, how did you get stuck out in your sleep? How did you get stuck out five times? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a big key. Big key. Euro, dollar, Aussie dollar. That's pretty cool. If that closes above, makes sense. Be very careful these wicks. Obviously, you're now testing the daily high. I would expect at this stage. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Why is this in Leeds range to fill? Yep, looks like a sensible play. I like that idea. Nice work. Nice work. Ah, oh, it's got spores. I thought it said it's got spoons. I thought it's got spoons. You and I are called Scott Spoons. Everyone gets a nickname on here. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Scott. That's a pr that's that's a pleasure to see someone that makes the effort with the double chart, so you can actually see both things. So you don't have to guess. That's really really good work. Those created came up. Did that with high sensible. You know what? That is a very good option. Very well played. I like that. Really nice option, mate. Very well done. That's a cool trade. I like that. That's well set out. Do you watch your charts like that, Scott? Like, do you watch them as two? <coughs> that's interesting. I like that. That's a really cool. Ca that's a really cool play. I like that. Very well done. Let's see what. Yeah, you do. That's a good idea, Scott. I think that's a good way of doing things. I'll do the same. It gives you it gives you that option to be to to see. I look at three different ones at the same time of the same chart. So it's it's pretty cool to give yourself a little idea of where everything is at the same time. I mean, you can do it with one page, right? And you can flip between the things anyway, like we do on YouTube. But if you're sitting there trading yourself now and you've got a screen or two and you can split it up like that, it's very, very helpful to understand what you're doing. Lesson learned for people there. If you don't do that, that's a good option to take, trust me. I like it. Well done, good trade. Uh, clean traffic to the left, kind of, yep. Might have close below 35.350. Yeah, pretty much pretty much what we're talking about. I think that's probably a little bit too far, to be honest with you. If you look at the higher time frames daily and stuff, it doesn't make sense to get to that stage. That's way too far. Um, especially if you look at a daily candle average size, does it make sense to move that far in one day? Go check it out. You know, measure it up. Go and see. Does it make sense to go that far? Unless we get some serious news, um, I doubt very much we'll get to there. But I think you've got potential if we start breaking down. You've got potential down here somewhere on the four hour. So keep it in mind. But I think getting down to that level is probably a bit too far. You never know though. GJ some worse things. Uh, um, Anna K. Good morning. I've um, not seen you before. Maybe you're new. Um, yes, most of the time levels, the bigger, more important important levels I will be using the candle body because most of the time you're going to get to that first before the wick if you see what I'm saying so on the way down for example we haven't really got a good um, let's see if we've got an example on a higher time frame um, that one's different because that was I was doing something on five minute but all right so look what I'd normally do would be that that would be the 30 minute support oh sorry hour support and then as soon as this broke down I may well be looking to take a trade here to then get down to touch that support because if these wicks were down here yes we're probably going to break it and you, what you're looking for is you would like to see it break that level and continue fill the wicks and continue down right that's the play but if you're up in up here you know if you've got a decent range down to the bottom of the candle body that's the first point you're going to get to that could cause a problem and i found with testing um over a long time that if i was for instance having it say this wick was down here and it was a long wick you know, if I was aiming for the wick end, my win rate was less than when it was if I was at halfway. There was a percentage difference. And then when I put it to the candle body, my win rate went up even further. So after three different tests over a long period of time, I found that going for the candle body on 
you know, if you're moving down, first thing you're going to hit is the body, right? Same as on the way up. If you're breaking up, you're going to come to the. Um, where have we got? Any, not going to have an example here, are we? But yeah, so there's a good one. So here, for example, that's if you go for this, you expect that to get filled. It makes sense. It 100% makes sense. But as a target, it may not necessarily get there. It may get somewhere close and start to reject, and then you lose some profit. And that's what I was finding. I'll get near it, and then it starts to come away. And then I've like I'll be ten pips up, and I'll be like eight, six, five, and then damn it. And then you have to wait for the next candle, which may pull back to create a lower wick, and then push up. So you nearly come back to break even in some case if you if you're working on a small target. Bigger targets, you might got a bit more room for manoeuvre um, and you could probably aim for further wicks and stuff but at that stage you're up so far it probably doesn't matter if you pull back 10-15 pips because you're probably up 30-40-50 pips so hopefully that makes sense and that's that's just the way I look at it myself um, just based on my findings and my data you know so it, it, again your data might be different to mine so it's something to be worth testing go and use a simulator and go and play that type of thing exactly that and then see if like here for example if this had a big fat wick and you want it to come down after creating resistance it may get down near it and then start to reject or not you know when you get near the bodies that's where it starts to pay attention because that's really what you want to be looking at is taking some kind of uh, profit at least take some profit at that stage and then if it continues then you feel the wick which you're expecting to create a new low or a new high then obviously it would uh, work out well anyway so keep that in mind um, if I've missed a few charts, my bad, but the chats this one are mad, so I'll start with a few more. Yeah, daily in four hours. Scott, makes sense. I, I have um, I have uh, one hour, 30 minute, and five, uh, basically. And then I'll f switch my 30 between f uh, 15 and 30, basically, just to see what's up. Yasin, no problem. Very welcome. Let's have a look what this chart's saying. right so no trade zone in the middle there on gold yeah gold's been a bit of a it was good but obviously yesterday you had a solid solid big big push up um you would expect some kind of retaliation from the top side to come back and like kind of you know grab a bit of liquidity maybe if we're gonna go further up but the people that trade gold a lot go and look at the higher time frames and look at the monthly for example um the monthly now looks like it's got a good solid option to push up further I'm not saying it's going to do it today, but keep it in mind, you know, we're only like, what, 11 days into the month? How many trading days is that? That's what, we've had eight so far, nine, eight, nine, whatever, something like that. So keep that in mind, you've got a long time left in this month, you know, and the news that came out yesterday wasn't massively good for the US dollar, so, you know, we'll see how things go, but looking at the month and the daily and weekly on gold, pay attention to that because that's going to give you a good vision of what's coming um, or potentially coming. Uh, in regards to target levels so i've been talking about levels at you know 1565 and stuff like that. it's not going to happen in like now because people get carried away and think oh i'm going to take a ball and go for, you know 16 no it's not this is not making sense but when you look at higher time frames there's levels in between there you're going to need to pay attention to but target wise makes sense to go up there looking at higher time frames so keep that in mind oh someone else sneezed in three times in a row man you're done you're done trust that's it finished might as well call it a day um, yeah I think that's a good idea but I would be very cautious um, in regards to entries and stuff today after what happened yesterday but see if you can get some solid momentum moving it does make sense prospect approved sport level clean to left yeah reach that was perfect this was I, I was talking in the chat group last night about this as it happened um, targets were to fill this candle over here which was the perfect target it did retrace back and then basically this would be the ideal retest on 30 minute one hour you look at it on here how it retests that previous level which was here which was the bottom end of the solid consolidation zone we were discussing or kind of in it just as such as soon as it started to break down again man there's a hell of an option but I was asleep so I got in a little bit at 300 and something and I closed roughly I don't know 10 15 pips down when we got back somewhere similar to this candle again called it a day went to bed about I don't know 245 in the morning and then for some reason I woke up at like 5 a.m. or half five and I'll see it was doing something then I was like yeah I'm gonna get in again because uh, the option there was solid because um, I know we've broken this level and to the left there was very little so I like your idea it makes sense wait for consolidation wait for either resistance to form to break further down for the higher time frames or 
we will see some form of support which is what it's doing now to then potentially push up to create another similar play to this we'll see but again this is where you got to sit on your hands and wait don't be jumping into nothing stupid you know because then you end up being John Wick and then you'll be bitching and moaning in the chat group again and no one will be paying attention in the chat group I even sent pictures last night people just needed to look at a picture and then they're going to be like oh well, I'll just take trade then and it would have worked perfect wait for close below support to sell what's this Ah, pound chuff. Pretty cool. That's a big stop loss, no? That's not three hours ago. That stop loss. I see what you're saying. It makes sense. But your target is where 40 pips. Yeah, depending on where it closes. If you're looking at that on a lower time frame, you could have maximised that already been in that trade based on what you've got here. I guarantee you could have probably got in as it broke them wicks on the lower time frames and give yourself a sensible stop probably inside here somewhere to continue and fill that candle whether it's going to or not it's still the same play right because that's the clean movement if this pushes down too far then your risk reward is going to be out the window so you're going to be struggling then you're going to be jumping in too late and then you may cause yourself a problem so you're not catching a falling knife at that point so you'd probably want to wait until it comes back or something um, We've got a media release event. Oh, B Doug, looking forward to it, man. What's that are you having? Is it a special um, non corona meetup? Uh, it was normal chat, I forgot to say. Oh, I see. Evan, no problem at all. I've closed my position, plus one pip was expecting a Whitfield sooner but that's what it yeah that, that's it I mean you can take trades right based on your vision and if they're not working out and you're not comfortable with it you can just turn the button off and say yo I'm done I don't have to take a trade now or it's not going my direction I'm not keen on this it's not playing the way I want it to play close it out so what if you lose a little bit you're not lost a big chunk right and then you know if you lose a bit of this this and this you know it, it, you need to make sure you're managing your trades and like you said if it's a very good idea if you're not liking the idea and it's going against you or you think oh that's not how I was expecting it to happen because it's not reached as quick as a lot I was expecting go with it turn it off I'm done you know have another go at some point later you're still in the game you know you're protecting capital that's the main thing that's your that's your job so if you want to do this successfully protecting your capital is key so taking that and you know closing one pip fine if it busts down now yeah, that's the way. Just your idea was right, but maybe you could have well, not, not had balls. But if you weren't keen on it, you've closed it, which is fine. But at the end of the day, we've not exceeded the previous high as yet on this on this chart. Sorry, but if you weren't keen on it, then by all means, close close it out. You see what I'm saying? The Aussie chapter tomorrow. Oh, definitely send some pictures, man. Let's see some pictures. I want to see some Aussie chapter. That would be awesome, B dog. Yeah, make sure you do. Make sure you do. That'd be really cool. Axe worthy, no problem at all. That's what we're here for. So send chats in, get a bit of opinion. Like I said, it's my opinion. It's not telling you how to do stuff because I'm not trying to teach people to like do this because I'm doing it. I don't care whether you follow what I do or not. It makes no difference to me. I enjoy what I do. You know, I think it is quite successful in regards to taking a good consistency rate into the future. But everyone's got their own opinion. Whereas people would see different levels and this, that, and the other. That's perfectly fine because that's your vision. Uh, but you know I'd like to be able to give something back of something I see if it's something you've not seen then it helps right as long as you take that on board you don't have to take any advice on board but if you want a little bit of advice you're not sure on something send a chat in or ask a question it's not just me there's Nick Carlo Kevil everyone's chit chatting Ralph's here too um, in the chat as well you know if they see something that they can respond to that replies to them or their you know their abilities then they will they'll respond as well so use it as what it's designed for uh, let's have a look at this chart and see what's up um, simple fact executing trades Musa it's just because I can chat all the time because if I'm planning a trade all my stuff's already on the screen because I've pressed a button on my magic keys and all I need to do is I don't even need to look at magic keys as long as I know what button I'm pressing because it's all set already I just need to press go when it gets to it and I'm watching the screen right now so there's no deal I don't you know you don't really need to do anything that's what people that have got it they'll realize how easy things become because you don't have to think about anything 
I'm still watching the chat, right? Because I'm talking. And I can see one chat on here with two screens. Uh, sorry, two chats on one screen, like split up, so I can see different time frames. I've obviously got um, training view, which is a little bit delayed, I think, slightly. Um, it's not as quick. It's similar, but I mean, that it's not the same as my broker liquidity provider, shall we say. So I might have a slightly different wick formation or, you know, something similar to that. So I can still see it. And as soon as it gets to a position I like, I'll just press go and it does its thing, right? Um, what was I doing then? Oh, yeah, there it is. So, yeah, magic keys, that's the one. Trust me. And they are selling out quick, sharp. So don't, I ain't even playing. If you want one, get involved. Use a use a discount code. It's, on, it's listed on the link. Go and do it because they're going to sell out real quick. It's been a lot sold because everyone knows they're coming back in stock, and you know it's got excessive euro US dollar. If price continues bullish. Wait for it to reject off this zone for sales. Clean move up. Wait for price to break this area. Retest for sales. Well, it makes sense. Um, now you don't have to, in my opinion have to wait until it gets up here to see rejection right oh, not rejection sorry resistance it may form resistance here and you still got options then to come down and like if this range between where it forms resistance down to this level which you're talking about you may be able to take a trade here to get down to this level and anticipate the break as well so you might end up for example let me just draw a little picture one time you may see something like this there you go, I don't do this often. So you might have something come up here, you get a candle form here, and as it starts breaking down, take a trade somewhere here on the anticipation to get to this point and continue. You see, so you get this area between here and here, you get your plus pips from that point, and you get the bonus pips at that point down to wherever your target's going to be, which, like you said, is going to be this candle here, which makes sense, right? So you may be able to get an extra 10, 15, 20 pips before. And if you start to see a reaction on this zone and it starts to pull back, you can just close out a lot plus however many pips. Do you see what I'm saying? So you don't have to wait all the way up until there. But if you do, you know, it, it's still going to work at that stage. But again, you're in the in range then. So you've got all this mess, like especially like this area here. That's an absolute nightmare, you know. So once you're below it, it's fine. So if you come up to site, say where this is, draw a line all the way across there. Say you caught some kind of resistance here and it starts to fall down, then it looks like you've got a good option to continue down, right? So keep that in mind. You don't have to go all the way up to the top. Just look for resistance anywhere in there. As long as it's not too much in this risky business up here, you should be pretty legit to continue down at that stage. Obviously, follow your high and time frame momentum as well. Look at your four hours and stuff. Make sure they're going in your direction. They're helping you out during your session. Um, how do you connect Magic Keys to your PC? You plug in a little dongle thingy. Simple as that. USB port. Plug it in, and it's wireless from that. It's like a. It's like having a wireless mouse, but it's not. It's like a wireless mini. I don't know. Keyboard calculator. Something. Whatever. Product. I don't know. John Wick's in the building. <laughs> good one. <laughs> Nearly as good as when we went through the football player stage. Awesome, John Wick. Welcome. Appreciate it. We don't want no trouble in here. Um, how can Magic Keys go out of stock? Because people buy them. And you've got to make them. Um, supply and demand. Come on, you're a trader, you should know that stuff. Um, what are we looking at? This is a GJ chart on the bottom hours. Oh, I got it on the hour, sorry, my bad. I just realised it was an hour. We'd form a little bit of consolidation, this is what we said. We've had a bit of a move this morning, earlier than planned. Now we're getting up to a point now where we should probably start to see a little bit of momentum one way or the other. If not, we may have a little bit of a dead session, we'll see. But <clears throat> little, not long to the open. But normally we start to see some kind of movement between... Well, in the last 10 minutes or so till 8 o'clock as well, what we've had recently. Um, where should I place a trade for London breakout? Don't know if there's going to be a breakout, right? So, where's the breakout? I don't know. I bet someone's following a book about the London breakout. There is, you get London breakouts, but you still have to plan it out first. So, if you, which way are you going to go? You know, where's the breakout going? Are we going down? Up? Um, where shall I place my trades? Yeah, Frank. God, you know what I mean. 
it says on the screen, but you know, it's up to you. <laughs> and we've discussed it earlier, just because it gets to that pink line does not mean you have to take a trade. I would say at that stage, if you've got solid resistance formed and we get down to there, if you can't get them before, you may want to anticipate volume pushes, but you need to be aware. If you measure this wick, this candle, it's big enough, right? For a decent trade, if you're if you're playing like a sell stop or something, but you need momentum to make that work. At the minute, the volume momentum is not here. If you're going to anticipate it coming at eight o'clock, for example, maybe do it. You know, if this if the eight o'clock candle opens up with no bottom wick and then it's going to bang down in a minute, you may want to place a sell stop at that stage. But currently, we haven't got an awful lot going on, so playing a sell stop now or a buy stop, whatever you want to do, it's probably not the safest of options based on it's slow movement it might tap it and then roll back and then stand a little range then you have to hold it for like 17 million hours like yesterday so you want to be very cautious um, but again this is all for your own back testing and looking at stuff if you see at, I don't know four minutes past eight every day it's been an absolute banging candle and it's moved 12 pips in a minute and a half every day for the last six weeks you might want to go with it right it's just how much work do you want to put in you know how much are you going to look into it and figure it out do you want to make that effort or not um, ba, 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 ba. I hate it when GJ does that. You know, I see the previous 30 minutes, I was, yeah, it's broken the low and the high. Yeah, it's a dread one. I swear it's going to stick and just nah, do not much. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. Range, that's what I'm thinking right now. Unless we get a solid push or something, we, I think we're struggling because the last 10 mm. minutes haven't really done an awful lot, right? And that's what I was just looking at in, on my other screen. This was cool, but then this is now becoming. If it's pretty, well, I'm going to be pissed if it prints like this all morning. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I'm going to be so annoyed. I've, I've got um, I've got a sell stop below the hourly. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, um, makes sense. Hang on, let me just. Um, sorry, let me just. My bad. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that's yeah. about right. Um, I think that's about right because you're also below here. Then this candle wick itself, which would be what you're aiming at at that stage, yeah, that's big yeah. enough. A lot of people measure. Oh, let's measure it now so people can see what's up. So, because the candles are quite big right now, if you're measuring it, you've got a 16 pip move minimum at that stage. You've got to take into account somewhere around that bottom, there may be a bit of an issue. So, you might want to take some out as soon as it gets there. You know what I mean? So, you've got to plan these things out in your head. If you're planning, right, sell stop at that line, go with it. Go with it. But that's your way of doing it. You need to be reacting when it gets to the yellow line or nearby because you may well pull back real quick. If you don't and we keep going, happy days. But at that stage, you've got two options. You can either let it get down here and then move to break even really quickly and let it just do its thing. If it comes and stops you out, that's the order you're placing. You know, you're playing, you're playing an anticipation move game, not on planning a structured move like this. So I'm going to put stops above here, enter on this candle open and, hurt and, and work it, let it work its way down and maybe go and draw down a bit. It doesn't matter. Anticipation play is what it is you take the trade based on you believe it's going to continue instantly move to break even and if it comes back and stops you out fine that's what it is that's exactly what you're playing it's that type of game you're not trying to hold it and then let it go down and go to like 10 plus pips plus 20 then come back and go and draw down no 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 you're playing an anticipation game that if it bangs down you're going to be there at the time to catch it and if you want to play that game that's what you got to do but you need to manage it real quick and that's why things like magic keys i know we talk about it all the time but that's key i literally press the button and it goes to break even it's done or i take half instantly or i take all of it instantly when i get to a point i'll see it start to reject press a button done i don't need to go open the thing type a number in or move my mouse to do what i need to do. i literally press the button so it's that simple and that's what that's makes it. sorry cool that's that's literally as, when I get in that trade, I'll be setting an auto break even straight mm -hmm. away to just above that yellow line. Exactly that. So as soon as I get around to it, then um, I'm safe. Basically. I think when people actually, say, I'm gonna. By the way, I'm making a video of how Magic Keys works, and I'm gonna put it on my YouTube, um, so people can actually see how it works. Because I'm gonna run through the functions and stuff and show how it works on screen. I can't really trade it live. I might do, maybe try it on a simulation. I'm not sure. Um, but either way. So then people can understand what it does because yeah. the, the ease of stuff you do afterwards is just it's simple, man. And mm -hmm. things like when it's set already so you don't do nothing, it opens, automatically moves to break even itself. It takes potential uh, partial profits at a certain level if you want it to or full profit. You don't actually do nothing. You literally press A button. That's it. 
it's a product Thomas Mason have a look at the description on the uh, YouTube go and, watch, go, go and watch it go and look at the website mate the links all there there's a discount code if you want it use the discount code feel free that's what it's there for that won't last forever um, but it's there for now but yeah go and have a look man it's an actual product it's on the screen now can you see look there it is it's like a proper thing it's got loads of functions on it go and have a look mate it's very interesting um, but it is perfect right so DT oh DT's not talking to me good morning DT thanks for showing up again I appreciate it don't forget to like stream this morning ladies and gentlemen free signals you know even though there's not been any signals we'll discuss what's up let's have a look at some other shit uh, see what's going on Ian I ain't touching Ian now anymore after yesterday oh man it looks like it's flying now as well yeah, but it's in a shit area. Yeah, that is nasty. That minute, got, yeah, yeah, we want to be playing that in it. Let's get yeah. that. Let's just use that. Look at the thirty minutes. Disgusting. You want to be above that, really? In all seriousness. Yeah. Well, uh, there might be pretty cool, actually. I mean, actually, might not be a bad idea. You know what? That's not a bad area. That's a nice little spot. And we're going to look at that on a different time frame. So above them ones, roughly. Weak to feel, clean move, clean move, but potential rejection. So you know you're going to get fleeced at some point, or you're going to break hot solid. But if you've got momentum at that point, you should break the highs, right? So look at the same thing on an hour. Nastiness. So not Nasty. so good there. So then yeah. you've got to come at least to there. So yeah, you've got no option, no yeah. option until that. So then that's what you look at. So this is what I mean. Mark it out on a higher time frame. So that's a four hour. So it looks solid for me at that point. There's an option for me. I think at this stage anything above that makes sense based on it broke down here and came down from that point we were above there so this was the first point of resistance formed which would be a high of some sort on the high time frame so that gives you a range that you could use but then when you go and think well okay so over here it done the same thing so there's that's an area then you go and look on an hour to see what's up look at the same line don't make so much sense now does it and you think hmm well where's the clean candles at well really you've only got these that look clean now on the lower time frame on the four hour they're all pretty pretty good these look pretty clean too but when you go on a one hour you can see how dead it was at that point there's no fun in there if you put it there that there's no range to fill out no fun really in all seriousness you need to be going above there now oh that's probably not quite on it but close enough you need to be going above there for anything i would say there's no interest at that stage this is a mess if you look at that on the 30 minute you'll see why no fun why do you want to play in that nah, 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 nah. that's what we just had yesterday on, on gj there's no fun up in there trust me so either you need to be in earlier down here for instance to break through that zone there's no sensible options at that stage so w for win yes we're probably going to still keep going up Wah. but actually we look, there, there is patterns isn't there there's there is what there is was we have was so that i think this area then you'd be looking more than likely to go between here and here so you'll have a range at that stage there's going to be a little sticky area in the middle but your range at that stage you're going to be looking between there and there which is not a bad option when you can get yourself a 78 bit range that's a good play area all you got to do is wait to get there and if that's planning it out ahead of time putting an alarm beforehand so when it gets near it you know what's up you come back to that chart in a day or two you're like yo sweet and that's as easy as you mark up a chart you could reject anywhere in here and start to pull back down again so then you could do exactly the same for a potential idea on sales but obviously we've we've talked about this area all week so i'll be very careful in there as well so Ooh, GJ's gonna do something for eight o'clock. It's gonna absolutely just rinse up. <laughs> I swear I down. Imagine. I swear down. It's just gonna be like, yo, see ya. <laughs> Puking, man. Um, don't be curious. Yeah, for for the video I'm making, I've already kind of made a few little videos on my on my phone just to show people what's up on the on the free chat and stuff because people have asked and stuff um, but to go through all the functions seriously it would it'd be a, a massively long video I'm not going to do that but I'll go through the basic f uh, functions just to explain how it works and if I could trade it I'll either trade I might even be able to trade it on a demo but I'm not going to sit there for like an hour and trade I'm going to show what it does you know what I'm saying so I might do it on a demo so people can see it how it works on MC4 MT5 um, I haven't got C trader so I can't do that but I mean it gives you the idea what it does right so um, SG thanks man 
I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm going to look at charts in a minute, guys. So just give me a sec. Don't send any more for the time being because um, I want to see this eight hour, eight hour open. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> 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 oh no, don't do it before. Right, get yourself ready. If it's gonna bang, it'll bang. But just be careful. Don't still a little resist, it's still a little solid support here, so we ain't done nothing. It'd be nice to see if it pulls up first and then starts to pull down. But we'll see. Yeah. We'll be, we'll I see. just don't want, want to get activated before 8 o'clock. Yeah, not saying oh, you might want to move it a little bit more. Yeah, I might. Well, look, if it does, it does, man. You've got stops in place, and if it starts going back on itself, you've got to take the risk in it. That volume push, if it goes, this is going to be one for the gram, but we'll see. It might just literally flip round and just go green right out the screen. And be like, Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! So, yeah, let's pay attention and see what's up. People, get ready. Don't be talking in the chat. There's no point in that if you're supposed to be trading right now. Uh. I'm going to make dinner. B Dog, enjoy dinner. What's for dinner? Oh, if you're gone already, you won't be here. But if you're still here, what's for dinner tonight? Um, Jean, you're very welcome. Very welcome. Or Jean? Jean? Not sure. Either way, you're very welcome. I appreciate it. I'll look at your chat in a minute. I'm not going to do it now while we've got this candle open. It's important we pay attention to what's going on. Um, we will see. Mark Wicks, what did Mark Wicks say? Was he talking to someone? Was he asking me a question? Because that's not really a good question, Mark. The range from yesterday and late the day before doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> so I don't know what you mean, unless you're talking to someone else. Will you sell? I'm already in sales lure, so, you know, I've, I've told you that already this morning. I've already explained what to do at this stage if you're planning to take a trade. If you weren't listening, writing it down, you need to rewind the stream, but you're probably going to miss the opportunity. So you need to pay attention or get here earlier. It was all discussed earlier. I've already talked about a high time frame daily levels. Oh, oh, do some. Oh, is, is it gonna go? Is it gonna go like a banger or not? They go like a banger or not? Do it, do it. Oh, now, now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nah, you'll be good. You'll be good. Come on, don't be sly yeah, now. It needs a banger. What's the time? Eight. Right, so just give it a couple of minutes and see. A faith, man. A faith. What time frame? Yeah, cool. uh, right, that's pretty cool. It started at least. <clears throat> Fleece down <laughs> water. <laughs> Disgusting range of one hour candles on night of April. You're damn straight. But if you look at that on the high time frames, water, in all seriousness, instead of looking at the hour, go and look at the four hour and the daily at exactly that same position. It's very interesting. Uh, well done, Andy Goodall. Well done, Andy Goodall. Exactly that. Have patience, have faith, believe in what your plan is. If you're comfy with it, go with it. If you're not comfy with it, close out. But I know there's going to be a banger coming, but you'll just need to pay attention. Have faith and hold up. Get ready to take profit at your levels, which you got set. If you're not keen, be at break even. Everyone should be at break even already. Oh, Don't even play. My, my fucking MT5 is frozen. Bro. Oh my god. Bro. Oh my god. Nah, listen, my MT5 is frozen. Bro. MT5 does not, that not bare a bad time. time to be. MT5. I swear to god, it is frozen. I cannot believe it. MT5 does it a lot, trust. My yeah. MT5 hasn't frozen, so I'm guessing it could be a broker. Cool. Oh, God. I cannot believe it. If it starts pulling back up now, I am going to puke. Yeah, Are you, you're still in it, man. You're good. You're right. You're yeah, right. It's all good. Cool. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone donate. I want 10%. I ain't playing today. So, called it all day long. Just had to wait. Another trade. 100% record. Non stop for the gram. So, well done. I'm done. I'm going to close that one out because, you know what I'm saying, close that one out. It's plenty of time left yet anyway. So. Oh, I tell you what, that was heartbreaking then. Yo, is it? Yo, yo, well, seriously, yeah. is it open or what? Are you still open? Yeah, I'm, I'm good Are you going to take I'm, some I'm profit? Yeah, so if it went quiet. <laughs> I was like, yo. 
I had to restart my whole MT5, man. I couldn't believe it. Right, so I've closed my original first position, which is from um, 879. So I've closed that one. Why? Because I've got another one running. I've just added another one. Oh, okay. okay. At 620. I've got slipped like a bitch. <laughs> I ain't even playing. 629, I got slipped hard. If this goes through the floor, seriously, man, people need to donate. Send the dollars, send the dollars. Come on, free cups all round. So that's really good. Awesome to see. So target was here. 16, 17, 18 pips. Do your thing. Don't get greedy. Do you know what I'm saying? But we do have high time frame potential, which we've discussed now for a long time. You've got this range we've talked about all week right so people really honestly mark stuff up listen to what we talk about we told you to say don't trade because it's nasty danger we talked about from there down once we break that level that target level once we break the one hour and the daily levels here we should have a clear path to here yes it's a long way away and to do that in a day is a big ask but if you're looking at that on a high time frame perspective that okay if I have a runner now we can keep going it should fly down right so if it does over the rest of the day you should be fine so then you just have to say oh kevin bellum i'm playing seriously don't need to do that bro <laughs> thank you very much i appreciate it if you took some honestly i'd, I'd rather everyone just like the stream do their thing 100 percent. that's the way it is so hopefully keep an eye on it like i said if you're in the trade well done if you're not in the trade go watch the stream and see how we took that trade because it was not particularly hard you just had to listen the marks on the screen, you just have get to take figures again. Like, get the exact We even said the numbers, brother. Right. Yeah, exactly that. People just need to listen up. Kevin Bello, appreciate it, man. Thank you ever so much, man. Honestly, uh, it's a big help. Makes a big difference. Obviously, you know we all do this for free anyway. We ain't fake. I trade for a living, so it doesn't. I don't need the money. You know, it's not an issue. But I appreciate the support. It does make a big difference. And things like that will go for uh, when I do things like giveaways. Um, laptops this that, and the other all that what comes through here and youtube etc goes towards things like that so i do appreciate it thank you very much helps the community and i appreciate all the support we get so all those whacking likes on the stream that's more important to me because that gets us out there in regards to telling people we're doing the right thing yeah we ain't trying to we're not trying to rinse people we're not trying to make money off you yeah i talk about magic keys but that means i can take trades like that so if you want magic keys and you just made some money go buy some trust me that's the way forward Evan, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Anytime. You got. I like it when you. Nice responses as well when you talk, man. Thank you ever so much. Um, I'm just so I'm managing stuff at the same time, so I can't really talk at the same time. Man, this is why I don't put my red and green thing on the screen because everyone just jumps in. But if you listen to how to play that properly, that was an easy play. You just had to do it. So, right. Who took the trade? Who took the trade? Hang on, I don't know whether to close it out now or what. Oh, Ian rinsed, you know. Hang on, <laughs> hang on. Is that, is that your own news now? Your own news as well? Yeah, it was the news. Yeah. Oh man, this is done. This is done. Right, 34,750 is my target and I'm not even playing. My runner's going there. So, it's probably going to get stopped out at break even, but 620. I got no. slipped, man. That's harsh. Oh, 6.20. My time. entry is at 7.20. Man, you know I had entries last night. Look, listen, I ain't even playing. <laughs> right, listen to these entries. 36.320. No, it's 36. 136.322. Up here. 36.243. Yeah, those are fire. <laughs> Fire entries, man. Oh, I didn't <laughs> hold none of them. And then uh, the, the, the best one I've had this morning is um, 35879, which is up on this wick. Um, I took it from there. So basically, I held that and I've just closed that here. And I've, I've got another entry at this pink line, which is how you add positions with what you got going. So I've leveraged my original position to play this buy stop, uh, my bad sell stop. And then I've left that to go as well. So if it breaks this level and continues, I took half my pos uh, position as well there. So I've actually got half my position of my sell stop running. I've closed my original position from over here. And now I'm going to leave this second half of this position to run. And now whatever happens, I will not take a loss today. So good, isn't it? Easy jobs. Right. Yep. I want a coffee. I don't care what people think. I'll just sit here and just have coffee all day. But you all just don't wedge. And it's easy peasy, isn't it? 
So 20 pips in 20 seconds and honestly I don't think we've lost on stream for two months now so it's at least that. I don't want to say it's... I think we've had four losses ever and two of them in about the first five days because I was a little bit nervous and that. Because you know talking in front of real people I think there's only like 12 people watching at a time but I'm still nervous. <laughs> Bro, you can't tell people though, you know what I mean? Stand up and be like, I'll do this every day for a living. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to take a trade now and it loses. You're like, yo, everyone's watching. <laughs> it made enough difference, believe that. <laughs> um, Tom Hamill, seven foot. Yeah, now, in all seriousness, Tom, that is a big ask. I'm not going to lie. But if we get the momentum, look, look, look what Asian did. And Asian's a really peak session for volume, right? It moved quite solid and rejected, came back and did its thing and then smashed it down again. And then from that point, if you get the same overview of what happened in Asian in London or New York, that move should be probably double in my head. It makes sense to. Hence the reason I've got targets that far. But you have to remember, this is where we talk, we talk about this a lot actually. We had a, a bit of a psychological chat. Me and uh, Jeevan from Capital Hungry, we were talking about a few little things yesterday to do with higher time frame holding. You know we're in a good position right now. And then sometimes you look at the money that you're making in regards to profit or you look at the pips and you think, oh, I'm good with that and close it. But your analysis on higher time frame, you, you still believe it, but then you kind of just overdo it yourself in your head and you're like, you know, I'm just going to take it. And that's like miles away from your original target. But you just take it anyway because you, you're just kind of used to it. So having that ability to hold one and let it go is why we play a runner and then see what happens. You know, if it carries on great, if it comes back and stops you out, then fine. But we're up 20 odd pips already. So you'd be unlucky if it comes back and gets you. But if you start to see it's a good percentage game for the week or the month or whatever you're doing, then, you know, by all means, take it, man. Grow your balance this week. Don't, don't, just come and follow the stream every day. Trust me. That's all you got to do. But yeah, it's it's nice to see. So I'm, I'm very pleased you're doing well. I didn't know exactly where to sell. Jerome, bruv. Look, bruv. Look. I'm even going to do it with a massive, massive, massive... Bruv. <laughs> Pink line. Sell here. Question mark, because it's your decision. It's not my decision. Come on now, it's right on the screen. I even told you all morning. I'm trying to help you lot make money. I'm dead serious. It's not no fate. I don't need anything from you. I'm just trying to, you know, help you out as best I can. Don't want to see you have a go through the same crap we did, you know? Simple as that. So I mean, if you gain something from stream, great. It's mainly for knowledge and education, but I'm trading for my job at the same time. So I'm not going to bullshit people and say, look, I'm taking this, I'm taking that. I've got trades running there on my phone right now, look. And all the banked ones, which you can see as well. And I'll, again, I'll put that on YouTube later on. You'll see that. Not YouTube, Instagram. Scott Spores, come on. Scott Spoons, come on. Come on now. You've got to look, bruv. It's all there. All the numbers are there and everything. You just have to look for the numbers. It's all you got to do. Do you know what? I really want to close this out, but I don't. Nah, I don't, man. Bruv. Yo, EN, man. That, that, Where's nice. EN? Let's see. Oh, we just, we just that, said but... about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's got <laughs> levels, hasn't it? That's got levels. Where did gold move up as well then? Yeah. Legit fire trades this morning on a Thursday. And what did we do yesterday? If you didn't do what we said yesterday, not that you have to follow what I say, but come on. Be sensible. Try and take trades in some peak range. Mad, mad things. Don't be doing that. If you'd not messed up yesterday, all these people that put their hands up like, yo, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. You'd still be up massively for the week based on you didn't take a trade yesterday. I took one trade yesterday. Oh, no, sorry. I made a little mistake, actually, on EN, on a longer-term um, plan. <coughs> Excuse me. Longer-term play, which the news caught me out on. Didn't think it was going to affect the euro as bad as it did, and it actually caught me out massively. So, uh, not massively, but I was playing a four-hour play. Uh, so, I had a big stop loss, but still very minimal risk, and that caught me out. So, I do lose. Uh, but that's not what's on stream. I'm, that's not what I'm trying to teach people on the stream. What I was playing there is something completely different, which is a different style. I could maybe do a different stream for that, you know, something completely different. Um, but the only trade I did take yesterday, um, on a normal basis, same as we do now, was looking at the gold after the news. That was it. That's all I did yesterday. I didn't want to trade GJ based on the range until we broke it, break it. My three successful trades. So we got to do right. Tom Hamill, 100%, mate. There's a lot of important levels that you've got to be very, very careful of. You know, 
Yeah, it's like four four-hour levels. So you got to be very daily careful. Daily yeah. Is well, yeah, daily and four hours. This level here is very that, keen. So. Well, that's it. You know, if you're comfortable with it, I've just realised we've moved a stop loss at 100 pips the wrong direction. So <laughs> I need to seriously deal with that sharpish. <laughs> My days, come on now, that's piss for. I literally broke 36 instead of 35. <laughs> it was, uh, so I've got it. That I stopped losing this with 36, uh, sorry, 35, 630. And I'll put it as 36, 630. So it was actually up here. That would have been a peak moment if it had gone backwards. I would have just assumed it closed out and then realised I'm, you know, 100 pips in deficit. That would have been good for the gram, wouldn't it? I've had to put that out there live as well. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Absolutely. Right, so Leroy Trippin, listen up. In all seriousness, we talk about it all the time. Yesterday we spoke about why you do not want to play in here. Don't play the games. The only option we had was when we said we broke... I've moved the pink line now, actually. Um, I can't... This one, I think, was it? 10 o'clock. There you go, after the stream. Close below and break down here would have made it sensible to take a trade down to this pink line, but that's the only option you had. In between that and after that, you're getting hammered. Don't go and do it. We talked about levels. We told you everywhere not to be, not to play in. Wait until you... We even planned it out. We even put it on Instagram. We looked at it on one hour. Safe plays were up and above here. Easy play here. Tough one in there. Even riskier there, but nothing closed above the pink line. Look, still there. Nothing. So you don't take a trade. Pink line was down here as well to take solid sells. Same place as we talked about last week. Same place we took sell stops last week. Exactly the same position. Nothing's changed. Sell stops were below here. That green candle <coughs> to fill that candle wick. What happened in Asian? That wick went to the exact same spot as that. You filled it perfect, then it rejected. You take your profit, get out of the game. We had to do was look at a lower time frame. As soon as you got to that pink line, perfect, easy job. Because it retested that level and then you took a sell. All you had to do, man. That's all you got to do. Don't overcomplicate shit, over trade, all that stuff. Keep it out of the game, you don't need none of that. A couple of decent trades a day, believe me, you'll be perfectly fine. A couple of percent a day, you'll be a rich man one day. Just got to be patient, what? Anyway, oh, it's got no top wick peak. I'm going to blame Carlo if this is my break even. Tell you now. Anyway. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate the love. Uh, what criteria do you use to draw your pink lines? Pink lines are basically areas of where I see as a sensible place to take a sell. Based on what we're looking at on the 15 minute um, here, sorry, 30 minute, I believe. All the wicks, apart from the one we were aiming to hit, which was the low of the day so far, were there, which is kind of creating a little support above it. So a breakdown, obviously, like we talk about all the time, if you're anticipating momentum, you know, momentum comes at a certain time. I've called it to the out, like the minute, the minute it came. Two or three minutes past eight is a banger. If you didn't hear that, it's like, well, you know, I don't know what you're doing. All you have to do is wait, anticipate, and if you're happy to take that risk, you put the sell stop at that position because of what's coming. Because we see it again and again and again and again. If the anticipation and the volume comes again, you are laughing, right? And it just goes down. Take it profit at this level. If it continues, done. Christian Neves. Neves. Or Neves. It's been like that for the last six months. Same all the time. Mr. Optimistic. You see markets like I see them because you spend time looking and researching. How would I catch this big move every day that happens every single day? How am I going to catch that? How am I going to anticipate that coming? Does it? Did you write it down all week? What did we say at the start of the week? Monday. It's now Thursday. Look how big my list is. It's like three quarters of my page of things I've, I've jotted down past a certain time because of this, because of this, because of this. I've seen this happen. I've seen this happen. I've seen this happen. Go back. Do what we said. All the way over here to your sessions. Mark off your sessions. How would I have played the 15 minute time frame in this session? Where's the biggest candle? There. Right, that's 7.30 in the morning. I start the stream here. Did I take that trade? Yes, we did. 
but if I'd missed it, how would I've got that trade? Go back and look at your time frames. This is why I say about having a set time frame plan. So trade between A and B. Get structured, understand what your time session is, and then from that point, understand which parts of that trade session you need to maximize. You don't need to worry about that, that's crap. You don't need to worry about that, that's crap. This, crap. This big move here, yes. This big move here, yes. If we're coming down, it'd be the same option. It'd just be the same. So go over to, oh, so, oh, I ain't got a trade session marked actually because I was just doing that the other day. But still, same thing. It's another session here. This is another session. What did we get in that session? Horse crap range. But we had a pu push move all morning until eight o'clock in the morning. Then eight o'clock started and we started to pull back. So we again, big candles, eight, eight fifteen, started to push down volume but with the move had happened before, so we needed to anticipate that before. But the day before, we noticed it happened before as well. So the next day, which is up here, we anticipate it starting at the start of the stream, or trade time, we're looking for the move at the start of the session, not halfway through. Where's this start of the session? How do we know this day? Oh shit. How do we know this day was gonna happen similar to the day before? It's because we went back and we looked at the data we collected in this little box of our trade session. Go back to over here, what happened here? Where did the big moves happen on that day? Hmm, so there's a big ass candle, nine o'clock, why did that happen? Well, that's a pullback from a move up. It's moved up from, oh, it's been pushing up solidly from 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, pullbacks and stuff, but we've been moving up in the session. Big big fat pull down at nine o'clock, after 8.15, 8.30. Where's nine o'clock? Oh big move again nine o'clock rejection continuation up second half of the session so simple if you can be asked and if you want to look at these on five minute 30 minute one hour go and check it out that's your work and then you can then anticipate what's coming at eight o'clock this morning oh shit so what's coming at eight o'clock this morning in our little trade session big fat candle all right then thanks for that wait for that press the button wait for it to come take your trade but again, it's about how much effort you put in. If you want to go and look into it, go look into it. Also, paying for the simulator thing, stop being tight, go and buy a simulator package and go and play that game live. Go and play it live. Go and place trades. Do you know what I'm saying? Simulator was probably one of the biggest keys to how I got to the stage where I can figure out how to work out my session because I would do exactly the same thing on session. Understand it on five minute why I can really want to enter trades at 7.45 and after, not before. Do you know what I'm saying? There's things there that you really need to figure out. It's massively important. Uh, my entries are made from Wix. No, my entry, my, well, in this case, yes, below the Wix of what we were talking about because this is a potential area of resistance. But, oh, sorry, support being formed. Target was this, this Wick based on momentum continuing with the volume which comes in the market at three minutes past eight or two minutes past eight should we say maybe a little pull up which it did then it started pushed down then it pushed down a bit more and it just chilled a bit and then it went for it that's kind of what you see pew 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 for the gram for the gram <laughs> it's fucking like it's so so good <laughs> I wish I kept a win rate for this stream, I swear down, because I can't go claiming it, because I don't know it, I ain't going to bullshit, I can't say, and I've tried, I said to Carlo yesterday, I went through the first 25 streams, and looked on my MT4 and tried to time which one, because I've taken trades myself that are different to the stream, obviously, because I, I trade in the day and stuff as well, so it's hard for me to see on even MT4 or MT5 which ones I took, um, at the right times on the stream unless I look at the stream and see when I took them so I've got to li literally listen to it so if I find one at like 7.15 on April the 1st I'll go and look at April the 1st stream and I have to go and like listen up and if I did take it on the stream I can count it up check it off as a one win and it's like oh no but then I have to really need to watch the whole stream because I don't know if I took another trade and lost for example yeah, it's long and I said to I just haven't got the time to do that man I ain't trolling for all that trust me there's no fun in that at all so either way I know we ain't lost for about two months, but you can't, I'm not going to claim it on a gram because people think it's cack. But it's best free signals company. Uh, best free signals company. We ain't even company. Jeez. Best free signals around by far. Hundred um, percent. I was going to buy a SIM package, but I'm struggling to get MC4 installed on MacBook. Ah, Sid the Sloth. Oh, welcome back. You've not been here for a while. Obviously, heard we're doing good. Man's man's here for the free signals. Obviously. Um, 
I would say speak to someone that knows about Mac stuff. I'm not a massive Mac understanding person. I don't really understand computers full stop anyway. Uh, mine's just got flashy lights and that. That's it. Um, but I know you can run it on Mac. I don't know how it works, mate. But there's definitely ways you can do it on Mac. But I'm not too sure. Steve Hill, appreciate you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you ever so much. Those that donated, no seriously. If I missed anyone that come that sent a donation, I'll do. A to apologise, I noticed it's gone up a little bit. So thank you very much for those that did send a donation. I really don't need the donations, but it is greatly appreciated. It's the likes I'm more interested in. So if you took the trade, like the stream, it's no other reason. It's good analysis, man. It's a way forward. Solid levels, solid. Yeah, this the gold move up nice, man. Am I really watching really it, bro? I was watching it. Was, it, it was like, a bit, yeah, it's risky. It was a weird one, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah I think it. Nah, I don't think. Oh. <laughs> oh, for the gram, oh, no. we even call these for the gram, and I didn't oh, even see it. Lord. I told you before. Two of them. Look, man, that. There's your little. Tw oh, there's your stunner. There's your stunner. Oh, Banger. Yeah, that's, that's every so good, that time. Oh, I ain't jumping in that more trades. Nah, 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 nah. Don't nah, even nah, play nah. that game. You can listen. YouTube Wait, listening, bro. YouTube listening. <laughs> like, yo, watch me buy old. <laughs> I swear <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> right, so when I said 1765, I meant it, but I didn't mean this morning. But I think we've got a little bit to deal with yet. But still, I still think 1765 is on the cards. Please don't get excited and just take a buy now thinking it's going to go 1765 because this will batter you. Because gold will batter you. But I should have held my trades from yesterday because, god damn, they were down here. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, they were down there. 27. Oh, shit, huh? Oh, he's come back. Sorry, I'm in the wrong place. I'm on five minutes, and I. I, saw, I, I did. That don't make no sense because I was coming up before then. But no, I was. My trades were here, um, around this candle level. I spoke to Carlo about it last night. But here um, was my entries for gold, um, basically to push up and get to the 32, 33, which is about here, where the pink line is. Basically, is what my target was from there to there. Worked out. Kept a runner. Kept going. Add another position to. Leverage my original position, Sam's understood on GJ, and then happy days. I will do a video about leveraging positions as well. That's another thing I'm going to be doing. So there's a lot of stuff to come, man. But I've only got one pair of hands, as you saw last night on Instagram. Those of you on Slack, the the private stuff, you know, you keep me busy enough with their messages. Right, I haven't got back to everyone yet, so I do apologise. Uh, but I will get back to all. I've, I've done most of you last night, but man, I was up till three o'clock. So man, needs to get sleep. It's bonus though, because I managed to make a trade at the same time, so you know. I um, just sorry. want to apologise for <laughs> trying to coerce you into keeping your winner because it is had a horrendous. Uh, I'm not even saying nothing, but I've done alright this morning, so I'm good with it. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got nah, I'm still keeping one. If I hadn't had, honestly, if I hadn't had, because this is leverage position, right? So if I hadn't had the runner from up here, my trade from up here at 870, that 878, yeah. I wouldn't have, I would have closed that. All of it. Yeah. Look, as soon as I saw that 15 doing its thing, it started to pull back. I was like, I'll be out. I'd look at it on the five. Understand what's happening on the five. Carlos tried to hold me in it. <laughs> Carlos just rinsed me out hard there. <laughs> That's what mates do for you. <laughs> so analyze each other's charts and stuff. Help each other out. And it's like, yeah, yeah, hold it, bro. It's good. It ain't coming back. <laughs> I'm gonna make coffee. You've done. <laughs> That's just cost me about. I'm not even gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that bike, right, you, know, you know that yeah, bike, that bike I got. Yeah. <laughs> peak. But the Bucking thing is, yeah, peak. the thing is, you'd have made all of that back earlier in the week if you'd have took all the calls that I've given you. Uh, in all seriousness, if I took Ian on the buy day when I was doing TJ sales or whatever it was, the opposite at the same time, remember? Whatever day that was. Man, that day was fire. We had three sol solid trades that day, Tuesday. Um,. That ain't coming back, Carl. Yeah, there, Carl. Carlos has fleeced you up good there. <laughs> Alright, in all seriousness, I'm going for coffee. Chill out. If you're in the trade still, if you you should have a runner. Like, in all seriousness, you should be at break even. You should have a runner and you should have took profit somewhere at the airline. If it passed the airline real quick, you should be out of the trade. You shouldn't have no issues at this point. Everyone should have banked some money. If you're listening, we discussed it from the start. What's your daily? What's your next daily area? Scott Spores, I'll discuss that when I get back. I've got a few little areas that I'm looking at currently, um, but it's I'll do that when I get back because that'll give us something to do, and then I'll go through everyone's charts as well. So, um, oh, 
Oh, Leroy's causing grief. Is Leroy causing grief? Now I'm going to have to read what his response was. Man's, man's causing grief. Don't let me set the wolves on you, man. Nah, man, it ain't him causing him grief. You're just trying to tell him, man. Oh, I can't even read it. I can't find the other piece in it. Now, trust me, if people want to copy, they can. But the thing is, the reason I don't put the red and green thing on there is because you'll be like, oh, I'm going to sell it now. And that don't learn nothing. Listen up, write stuff down. As I said, get planned or get banged. I ain't going to tell you, there's a red and green thing, take a sell. Do some work, listen up. I've got to sit my ass here for three, four hours to take a trade so you can copy. You're going to do the same. Leave that. If you don't like that, go and watch Rakeel, man. He'll put a red and green thing on there, but you ain't going to learn in the future so much if you just copy, right? That's not so good. Not that Rakeel isn't a good teacher, I don't mean that. I mean more in the case that you not making that effort to learn isn't going to help you in the future. Because one day, man's going to be like, I ain't want to do streams no more. And then you'll be like, uh? Oh, where's my free money going to come from this month? Oh, well. For those who are listening, we're bagging up, right? Um... Mean oh, Meanwood, good morning. Morning, morning. Yeah, Tuesday is a fire day to watch. Is it, If you want to see a good way of trading, Friday was good. This was a very good explanation this morning. Yesterday, from a non-trade perspective, everyone should have been paying attention yesterday because that was the most important day of the week not to mess up. Messing up was taking trades yesterday in that range. You got caught in that range, you got hammered. And we told you all morning, we even told you the levels not to be playing at. Told you, even on Instagram I posted save the world save the world that's what we did but then people choose not to and they're like oh I lost some money really wish people pay attention we're trying to help man too much 100% wins is a valid flex it is Jason L but to be honest with you I, I, I can't honestly hold my hands up and say yes that's what we've done I believe it's at least that but I can't prove it mate without having to go back people can go and watch all two if everyone wants to go back and watch the last 100 videos and work it out I'll give you 100 quid it's not bad for like, if they're four hours each, work out the math, that's probably like half a pence an hour. That's why I'm not doing it, because I'm not spending that much time doing it, I believe. Mate, if I just got stopped out, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> oh, I fucking did as well. Fuck you now. Nobody told you to keep your runner, mate. Bruh. Literally. <laughs> literally, literally. Now listen, I... I thought we'd get trouble at that level, but fucking hell. That's rejected hard, you know. Yes. <laughs> Did you see that rejecting that hard? No, from a daily level, it could well do, but I didn't expect it to happen with that momentum that quick because no, we've still got the second true. half of the hour, which normally is the push, so this could be an absolute flyer, but now entering against tough. So, oh, this could fly, honestly. This could go that like a super rinse, rocket, like but I'm not. Rinse. I can't take another venture that quick. I've done nah, good. No, no. This is silly, silly to do the same thing again. You've got a pullback, which is could well be seen as a rejection from that level down. It's very important, and it's hot high time frame level as well as uh, pre no, it's not psychological, but it's getting to a, a solid level. Um, but yeah, it's still finished bearish, right? And second half of the hour is normally the wang that proper goes through the floor. I'm going to go make coffee, turn the, turn liquidity up. I'm going to bring Ted quick and uh, see if he can turn up a bit more extra for us, and then um, we'll go a bit further down. I'll be back. Do not take trades unless you're sensibly taking trades. If you took one already, don't jump in again and ruin it. Come on now. But if I've got a high belief that this is going to go through the floor, but I'll it be, is. Look, it's finished. Right, right stop, bro. Stop. I'm not. You just stop my ass out and now I'll out the trade. This is going to go down miles. <laughs> nah, I did. I told you to keep your runner in it. So. <laughs> I think you should take a buy. I think you should take a buy right now. That'd be my advice. I think you should be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs>
Yeah, I see people in the chat talking about the end of the moon and that shit, but yeah, someone summed it up like, where are you going to put a stop loss now? And what, at what point realistically are you going to take entry? Because if I drum down, five even on five minutes, there's nowhere, yeah, there's, there's nowhere realistically that would give a decent confirmation that we're going to start going back down. So I'll just probably chill out now and <clears throat> wait till it comes to a clearer area. The moves happen. I look at that, the 30 is freaking bullish now anyway. But the moves happen, so don't don't get FOMO now and start trying to rush into anything because you're going to get burned. It's rejected hard off a daily level. Let it settle and see where we can go from there. <clears throat> I imagine a lot of people got burn on that 8.15, 15 minute candle. Yeah, yeah. And even even if the resection works for that, some people may have got in at around 135.60. You know, coming back up to test that broken 15 minute support, think it'll go down. But it'll probably go down, like you said, in a few hours. Mm. Ties everyone into getting into buys thinking we're rocketing up and then it'll just come all the way back down. Yeah, yeah Ted said we can't have any more liquidity, so it's gone back the other way. Yeah. Right, anyway, well, I'm just trying to do a picture for the gram because it's important, you know. Yeah, I'm going to, um, going to go get a shower and get some breakfast. Yeah, sounds, sounds, sounds. Cool. Appreciate it, man. I'll go through questions and stuff in a sec, guys. Thank you for those that are still here. Those that are subscribing, awesome job. Thank you ever so much. That's really pushing up the numbers. Thank you very much. It's really getting us some... Uh, well, people are viewing us, man. It's nice to see. How come I, mean, I remember the days when we had like 50. You know what I mean? 50 people watching. It's nice to see, man. No music. Josh Wood, you need to turn up your speakers, bruv. I can hear it. Can everyone else hear the music? C Mac, told you not to trade yesterday. Come on now. 
Well, if you were GJ, my bad. I don't know what you were. Uh, yeah, as long as you can hear the music. Yeah, come on then. So, um, whatever his name was. Josh, I think it was. Um, I'm going to talk about daily levels in a second. And then I'll talk about... Oh, unless someone in the chat. Come on. Help your man Ibiam 10 out. Explain what a Wickfill is. Someone in the chat. Tell him. What golf clubs do I use? I haven't used them for a long time, Daryl. But um, they are Strix and Z. 965s if you know what they are go and check it out google streets and uh, z965 was it 985 pretty sexy looking anyway i'll be with you in a second my bad i'm just trying to do something i've got like, lots of things going on all at the same time right now my apologies but there's nothing to trade right now, so be very, very careful. Don't be jumping in no trade. You know, you should have had a good trade ready this morning. Do not need to just jump and try and cause yourself a problem. Sensible players, man. That's what we're all after. Sensible players. Nick, <laughs> I just so I was still doing stuff. I just looked up and see your comment. Yeah, this job isn't stressful. You, if you let it become stressful, you're trying too hard. You're overthinking stuff. Trading is not stressful. It's frustrating sometimes to an ex to an extent if you miss an entry because of some messing around in the market and you you can't find a solid. Yesterday was frustrating, should we say? But the simplest way to deal with that frustration is to turn the charts off, leave it alone and go away, leave it alone. You can't take a trade yesterday because it was awful. So we didn't take trades and that's why we said don't take a trade. There was no stress in, involved in that. I come back this morning, wait for a solid option. You do not have to trade every day to be successful. And this is why everyone that wakes up on a Monday or a Sunday night ready for Asian sessions, you all jump all up in it as soon as the market opens. That's why people get hammered. That's why people do redeposit Monday. Trust me, just take your time, man. Um, who's talking about five minute chart? Um, Tom Dante's trading webinars. I don't even know who that is. Is he good? Better as good as me. I don't actually know who that is in all seriousness. I don't know. I never. I don't look at other people like that. I don't go and look at other people's stuff. I concentrate on what I do for me. And that's it. I don't really look at none of these positive thinking books and all that stuff. None of that. I just wake up, look at the chart, see what's up. That's it. It's not a habit. Is GJ st is the sell still valid for GJ? Um, I mean, I would have thought we've probably still got bearish momentum in the market. We're going to continue, but does it make sense until this candle's closed? You know, does it make sense until this candle's closed? We just had a fat green candle close, rejecting off its level. Realistically, that should probably push up a bit further. But looking at the the heavy mo the heavy momentum we got in the market, this 30 minute close bearish still. You've got a little bit of a mixture of what's going on right now. We the trade was from the pink line down, and that was it. So you could risk it, 
where are you going to put stops? You know, 30 minutes, you know, got 15 minutes left. That 15 did close bullish. Doesn't mean this can't come down and then create a new low. But you're really pushing it at this point. You know, you're kind of forcing a trade. I'll be waiting to see some solid, solid support formed or resistance and decide what we're going to do from that stage. The trade has already taken. If you missed it, watch the stream again. It was all pointed out. It's all over here. Look, tells you what to do. We discussed it all morning. You just had to look at what was going on. Listen, take notes, make a good trade, be done for the day. Or maybe not. There might be another trade later on. We'll see. But currently, at this point in time, one of my rules is I'm not going to take a trade bang after taking another one, even if it starts to fall down massively. I won't. Um, that's a discipline thing, which a lot of people comment on. That my discipline levels, that their, their, sorry, their discipline levels have improved massively based on watching the stream, which is nice to know because that's one of the things that I'll, you know, I like to think I'm pretty good at. Being disciplined is very key in this game. Jumping in after you just made a loss is what I did when I started out. And I'll be like, oh, I'm going to buy it now, and then it'll come flying down. Then I'm going to start, I'm going to sell it now, and then it'll go up. And you get stuck in that little habit. Trust me, don't play them games. Now that's close bullish as well. So looking at what's going on at the minute, I would just be very, very cautious taking any kind of directional trade. You want to see what happens. We may get stuck in a range. This may be classed, maybe a fake out. You know, this could be a fake out on the 30 minute, and then oh, sorry, on the on the 15 minute, we could push back up into the zone and stay in a range all day, or we might break up and go even higher. You know, this could be the low of the week. We just don't know right now. So at this stage, be very very careful. We've got an hour and 15 minutes till the four hour open. We've got plenty of time left yet to get any more trades, but in in a sensible manner. You've got to plan it out, and at this point in time, it's not really a plan there. You haven't really got anything set solid you can take. The trade was taken. I'll be very cautious right now. Thank you for those that hit me up on Instagram with messages and stuff. I just had a look. I appreciate you all sending stuff. I'll put some of them on the story. Those that did well today, those that also donated and stuff, thank you ever so much. I do appreciate it. It's always good feedback we get. So, you know, if anyone wants to put feedback on their story, good or bad, it makes no difference to me. It's always good because I can learn to improve things if there's things that you're not keen on or, you know, um, put my story, tag me in it, let me see. You know, show the world. It didn't matter. As long as you're getting the name out there so people see what we're doing, you know, People know we're doing this for the right reasons. We're not here to try and, although I talk about magic keys, we say this every day. Magic keys is, is not about, I'm not trying to sell you a course. I'm not trying to sell you my brokerage. I'm going to tell you which ones I use because they're sensible and that trust that we build up over time. People should believe that what I'm talking about is not just complete cap. It's, it's legit. The brokers I use are sensible. They're very, very good. They're, they're safe. I don't care whether you use my link or not. It makes no difference, but I don't want people to go down the route that I did. I've lost money in a bra bad brokerage where I put money in and then I've not been able to withdraw it unless I've done so many trades or they've given me a bonus which then impacts my withdrawal procedures I've made lots of money off them but then they won't give me more money That's I don't want people to fall in that trap the brokers I use currently if you ever have a problem they will sort it for you you've got a good customer relationship you know like a support team which will, will cover you up real cover you so look at the brokerages go test the accounts they're demo accounts they're free but they're exactly the same as what I use in regards to spreads commissions check it out and like I said people have asked about it for I've got a, a deal coming up with uh, Black Bull Markets um, that's going to be available to people that are on this stream now we've exceeded 10,000 followers um, that's I can't put it out there right now but it's going to be a very good op option for people um, like I said I trust them and they've uh, got my money so I've got no issues they all pay me so give it a go Broker I use is all listed. Like I said, I don't care whether you use my link or not. Go look. It tells you the name. If you don't want to use my link, because I will get paid. I don't get paid commission, like a commission, like one time fee. I get paid a little bit of rebate from your from a trade. So if you use a certain amount of lot size, I will get a lot, so many pence per trade. So it's not. It's just a thank you from them to me to put people their way. It's not like they're paying me thousands of pounds a month to say their name. You know, it's not that at all. They're my brokers I use. If you want to use them, feel free. If you don't want to use my link, it makes no difference. Just use the, you know, top it in Google. Go and do it that way. But either way, I know they're safe, and that's why I'd quite happily put them forward to people to say, look, I've never had trouble with these. There's others I use that I have had trouble with, and I don't advertise them. I just want people to get the, you know, honest opinion. 
and over that time of being on live people know that we well, should know by now we're legit you know we ain't making stuff up we haven't seen the withdrawals everyone's seen the trades live everyone's seen the live account They're on the big screen with the money that everyone's worried about lot sizes la 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 so I think we've ticked most of the boxes um, so have a look black ball are very good very very good and um, to be fair they're probably one of the better ones I've ever used in regards to customer service and plus for those that are new Phil the analyst from Blackball Markets sometimes pops on the stream live we talk with friends as well and that's why we've built that reputation um, in regards to broken stream and even though I'm a client we get treated very well and they look after people I put forward and Phil also becomes your manager so Phil that's on the stream talking live sometimes the analyst who I post on Instagram and stuff um, he is actually your manager and you can see him live it's not a made up person you haven't got to deal with a massive call centre or nothing it's Phil it's just a normal bloke and he's got everyone's best interest at heart he also teaches people if he can you know he helps you out as a trader because he wants you to be successful because that's what makes them money right so both of us are working together to try and create a good community to you know really build up the education in trading and it's not about buying massive expensive courses and stuff following signals all that stuff knock it all out the window because if you pay attention and put a bit of work in you can be very good at trading or at least consistent to make a good little income on the side if you want to take it further and go into a career then fine that's not going to happen in a week you know so people need to put that work in um, spreads are affected by brokers um, I said this is a long story you'd have to go and research that and understand what li liquidity providers are and brokers and you'll understand why spreads are in place and what spreads are I'm not going to go into the full story about it it's something you can easily research on Google understand what liquidity providers are and understand what a broker is brokers a middleman so just remember that go and read about brokerages and spreads and you'll understand how it works in regards to payments and stuff my favorite indicator is my eyes um, I've got no other indicators as you can see on my screen I don't use indicators I don't believe there's any point in them because I can still make trades like I've just done by using my eyes only and that's it um, but you can use indicators if you want uh, let me have a look at a couple of charts so sport 2k everyone can help you if you ask a question if you want me to buy something I'm not buying it um, this charts cool buy area yeah pretty cool but at the minute high time frames performing down quite a lot right now so I would be more inclined to look for sales um, but still see what's happening I mean I would mark it up a little bit clearer put some how are you gonna enter where's your targets I see you got TP1 here that's a long way but still how are you gonna enter where are you gonna put excuse me stop losses and stuff like that before it takes too much time and you better go gambling then that's a lot easier just go and put like 50 quid on red that takes about what 12 seconds or something it's pretty easy go use that one what's your plan on GJ I missed the start of stream oh Sean Lowe bruv I swear you were late the other day as well man oh seriously watch the stream again when you get time honestly Sean go and watch the stream again at the start for the first maybe hour up until about 10 20 past 8 so maybe the first hour and 15 20 minutes the explanation of how to take that trade and what we were planning it's very good it's on point to the minute of when it was going to happen near enough basically I even said when it was going to come wait for this la 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 pay attention to that you'll learn a lot from it same as the Tuesday stream it's a very good stream to learn something at the minute the plan is to wait to see what's happening um, we've had the move which we've took here which is from the pink line down um, which if you like I said if you watch the stream you'll be able to see it um, but yeah currently I'm waiting to see what's happens you could potentially look for more sales right now but I'm not really keen I've just taken a trade if everyone that, say for instance you copied it but you don't want to take another trade right now it seems a bit risky you've just made some good profit or throw that out the window it's no rush so at the minute Sean I'm waiting for some kind of solid formation here like a resistance to form which if this candle 15 minute close bearish gives me the option right so we're coming up to the end of the hour as well so that may well be a factor so we've had two bullish candles 30 minute currently still bearish but it's weak right now we had a bit of a rejection from this lower level which is probably off a daily level we were talking about earlier I'll be very careful right now sales are the highest option right now in regards to a completed trade but looking on the lower time frames it's not in the most sensible positions so I'll be very careful right now so I hope that gives you a heads up so basically just don't jump and jump in the trade right now um, you've only got a phone 
and yeah you always put it into stop loss you don't have to put a TP I, I never put a TP on I have a TP in mind in regards to my vision and what I can see on my screen but I, I never put a TP just in case we have an absolute rocket and it goes 60, 80, 150 million pips or whatever I don't ever put TPs I look at areas which I've got marked which are on my, F, uh, on my FT on my MT4 also got similar levels marked so when I get there I'll, I'll press on my magic keys I'll press close half whatever it might be or press close half twice which means I'll close 75% and let it do its thing right because it'll automatically go to break even because I've set that anyway so <clears throat> that's what I do but um, stop loss always put stop loss man training out stop loss and don't come to this stream uh, Dave McEwen is like, what, what? Oh, it's not talking to me. I was really confused. Do you go for big pips, small lot size, or big pips, lot size? Uh, I, I risk the same percentage each time, so my lot size will change either way. So sometimes it'll be a big lot size, sometimes it'll be a small lot size. Depends on how big stop loss is, right? So if your stop loss is 10 pips, it might be a 10 lot. If it's 20 pips, it's probably going to be half that, right? Because if you're risking 1% or 2% or 3% or 6%, or you can't use a lot size. My lot sizes range from, you know, 0.5 to 15. It depends on what you're doing. It could be anything. You don't know what your lot size is. People that tell you you've got a thousand dollars in your account, use point zero zero one or point one zero or something. They're talking bollocks because that you, ha you stop loss changes each time, so you don't know how much you're risking each time, right? If they always give you a hundred pip stop loss, they're just joking. If you're following signals, you'll see that all the time, and then they'll be like, "Oh, that one's hit stop loss," but you've risked point one zero. With a hundred hundred pip stop loss, you just lost an absolute shit ton. That's not one, two, three percent loss. That's a massive loss, man. Huge. I haven't lost that in a month. That's like a bad way of doing it, man. Uh, da, 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 da. Looking back on the chart, I can't see why you have your one hour reaction support there. That's a high. Da that's a. It's a daily level. And if you look on the one hour, go back. We've had this discussion early on. So look, go back. On the one hour this is the line there what is on the one hour so first and foremost last Tuesday I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday I can't remember whatever the second was this was a reaction point here based on our target level from taking a trade from here we were looking for a target here why were we looking at this target on Tuesday there let's go to the left and see right so obviously we've got no data in between here oh what's that that's pretty close to that line so maybe it was something to do with that mm, okay so is there anything more to the left where it starts where's the line start oh line starts here so why does that line start there that was a high point as you can see candle bodies not the wick that's a high point what happens here rejection important level right okay so we'll just zoom out we we'll go back across what happens there oh rejection tada so we know at that stage it's a very important line so if you look at that what, like I said, you can see the numbers, right? Go and look at the chart. You will be able to see something on that level which is important. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there, right? So it's very important you pay attention to that. One hour, go left and look. If it's four hour, go look. Daily resistance, go look. You're going to need to be looking on a daily chart at that stage, right? It doesn't mean it's the most recent in some cases because it's a reaction point that we've seen consistently used over time. So this level, it's been used massively for a long time so it's probably on the way down if we haven't got massively strong momentum when we get to it we're probably going to see a reaction at this stage that's exactly what we did um, if you've got a hundred pound account and you use 0.25 then very well done but you probably ain't going to last very long um, how did you fall in love with trading? I don't love trading I don't love it at all I enjoy it because it's like a it's a passion it's just something that's a passion I like to outthink things I'm very analytical I can work stuff out you, I've got one of them minds where I want to know how things happen how things work I just enjoy understanding why is that candle just done that you know I, I need to understand why, why is it all started coming down now how am I going to do this next I'm trying to outthink what's happening on the chart and then not overthink it but plan ahead a lot planning and thinking what right, this is my plan let's see if it works when I started off at the start I was just like yeah it's red candle I'm gonna sell it sometimes it works sometimes it didn't everyone does that everyone does that I guarantee a massive chunk of people in this room do exactly that um, 
Where do you add line text? Double click it, man. Double click text. Right. La 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 la. la. Press enter. That's it. Um. Tech intelligent. What's up? Appreciate you coming back. I know you've been here a few times. Let's have a look at your chat. And see what's up. Good morning. I, I was just about to say. I'm sure when you sent a chat the other day, it's pretty legit. Which is pretty nice. Let me see. I appreciate a good chat. People that put effort in. See, this is a difference, man. Look how the effort is on this. Whether it's right or wrong, it's nothing. It makes no difference. Look at the effort involved. This is someone that's trying to make effort. That's what I mean. Whether it's right or wrong, it makes no difference. This person's making serious effort to improve. Looks pretty legit, to be fair. Got 60 pitches this morning. Now, you know what? That's exactly where I got in. Right? So, where you, your top line is there. That's where I was taking cells. So I took up my first cell from up here this morning. So I happened to wake up early. I don't know why I woke up early. I woke up just before, just after five o'clock, and I took a trade up here because of what I'd seen happening. It's pulled back, and it had actually this candle reacted with this candle here, based on the zone there, right? And at that stage, as that started to come down, I took I took cells basically in this green candle, and it was about the same level as the top of that candle. I think that's a very sensible trade very sensible trade yes you had to wait a little bit I thought we might get pre London volume which was going to push it down more and it didn't but as it kind of just chilled and did its thing in this zone I was quite happy to hold it and then we knew that the momentum would come Asian was a solid move down a little bit of a chill a bit of pullback could have gone deeper but then the London session should well continue at that point bust the low of the Asian session and continue on same as what you'd expect to see in New York potentially later so keep that in mind for later that's a banging chart dude Seriously, thank you very much for making the effort. Appreciate that. Um, should I be drawing support resistance on a one hour and thirty minute, or just stick to key levels and daily four hour? Right. So, I would always use thirty minute most recent support and resistance because that's going to be your signifier of what's happening right now this minute. Four hour levels, <coughs> I would use as potential areas of like here, something might happen there. Look at what happens on this chart. Right. I haven't made these up. They've been there all morning, all week. You can see what happens. It's never going to be precise, but it's going to be very key. So these levels ended up being the top yesterday, and we said if it breaks above and closes above, you've got more chance of taking solid trades up these levels. Clean candle there, awesome trade at that point. This was a tough one, but you could have got in in this place depending on how it formed up until that point. For example, if this green, this red, can red candle had gone green, good chance it would have took an entry because it's a solid rejection from the bottom of the zone, right? One touch, gone the other way, rejection. And at that stage, you probably look for higher time frame buys. Uh, sorry, low time frame buys, based on probably four hours be flipping at that stage, or the four hours solidly bullish. Didn't so it started broke down. You can see how to get momentum to push down. It had to wick back into the previous zone, which is why everyone gets caught out, and everyone's like, "Oh, I got stopped out. Oh, it's a fake out." No, no, it's not. It's just you're not looking at what's happening on the charts on all time frames. You can see how it reacted. Broke down. Broke down solid. What's that? retest of the level and then a little liquidity week to push down further ta -da, job done as we said all week break below the yellow line your target would be what red wick it's been there all week it's been there since last week that was the target breaks down to it then it retested and hammered everyone like, oh I should have been selling because everyone's selling down here like John Wick trust getting hammered pulls back in Asian session kills everyone off then it starts to progress back down take some solid trades any of them candles would have been solid on the one hour to take trades on. None of them exceeded the previous high. You could have took a sell at this point. Could have took a sell at this point. If you're up at that time, fine. You know, I wasn't. I happened to wake up and I was, where was it, somewhere here. I was. I woke up in this candle, basically, and as it pulled back, I was like, where can it reject from, potentially? And I thought, maybe the bottom of these candles are somewhere near this wick, maybe a good option. As soon as it started to do it on lower time frame, I could see an option to take a sell. So then I took a sell. And at that point, I was going to try and hold through pre-London see if you've got any volume to push it down if not London volume should do the job because London volume like bad boy volume in it so hopefully that helps but look at them lines because it's how they how they react at them levels each time you get it right where did that come from I didn't just, that line's been out all week just happened to become a support right then what happens after support push up still in the range yeah but still you can see can we view your chats, charts on trading view? Um, yeah, Instagram's all on Instagram. Everyone's like, every day is on Instagram as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram, top left hand corner of your screen, hook it up, go follow. 
everything's on Instagram. Um, Trading Viewer, I don't always put stuff on the charts, but if you want to follow me on here, it's this. This is my. F oh, where is it? Oh, there. There we go. So I've got a profile on here. I don't know. I don't put a lot on there. I haven't put any on this month, to be honest with you. Not yet. Because um, I forget, basically. Because I do it for my Slack group, which is the private thing, obviously, we do, which is not open currently. But in here, all my. All my trades that I take, so like yesterday, that was yesterday's trade we discussed on live on the stream. Everything's on there, and I'll, I'll keep a track of every single one that I do. So if people want to just look at my way of trading, they can just follow all my trades that I take, every single one, right? No, no cap, they're all there. Loses, losses, whatever, makes no difference. Only the ones from London session, to be fair, because that's the that's what we're teaching. They're teaching the London session way of how to take trades, right? Um, but yeah, if you want to follow me, that's what you do. Type that in, follow me on there, and then you know I've only got 119 people on there, but like 80 million followers on YouTube. So yeah, I don't use it often. Uh, B Dog, you're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, Anna K, very welcome. Make sure you're in the free groups as well. So if you're in a free group, top right hand corner of your screen. I haven't got the Slack option anymore at the minute because it's closed. Obviously, everyone should know that by now. Um, but there's a free chat on there. It's a bit of a mess because you get a few scammers in there and stuff. Be very aware of that. Um, I will never ask you for any money. So don't try and give anyone money. Anyone that comes to you pretend to be me offering you investment opportunities, don't fucking fall for it. Do you know what I mean? Come on. Yo. What up? Yeah. Nah, will it come back, is it? Wee. Looks like a, looks like a quick, quick talk. Nah, I can't play that, man. It's a bit risky over there, nah. Oh, I ain't keen on this bit here. This puts me off because that lines up with this bit, and that bit lines up with that bit. I'm just a bit like, eh. mm -hmm. well, saying that, man, go with it. You made a good trade today. I'm, I'm just going to tell you the opposite after fucking up my stock, my runner. So you know, <laughs> 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 I have to ruin in my morning. You know, it's not. Mm. I closed half. I closed half as well. That's the worst thing. If you're close, like seventy five percent of like, alright, I'm good. Ah, uh, see that's. To be fair, I was giving you skewed advice based on what I had open. I had open like five percent. Hey, the only reason I left it is because I had that tray from earlier though, innit? So I said, you know, the one yeah, I have from yeah. eight hundred and whatever it was, that made I don't that's covered any kind of backfall, so it made no mm. difference. Mm. I, it would have been nice to close it because when you, I'll show you it later, but you'll see the difference, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll be like, oh, maybe that's, <laughs> that was a dread decision. Oh. <laughs> But still, the, the original trade that I took prior to that covered anything in regards to that coming back to break mm. even. Plus, I'd already closed half. So, uh, that, to be honest, that was more based on the four hour continuation. And to, I should have probably left it at that four hour level. But yeah, I, I ain't sure. But it's pulling back now, just doing its thing. So I'll just still chill, you know, watch what happens. These lines that we said about that don't mean nothing. They're starting to show stuff happening, right? That was target. So that was target done. Um, Ashley Garlic's been blocked. How's Ashley Garlic been blocked? Goodbye. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Garlic, you must have annoyed the Russian or something. Hope you're well, dude. Um, had issues with TP, so now I use a TP region until I gain more confidence. Going to start looking at my TPs in more detail and journal to see if it's a trend. Makes sense, man. Makes sense. Does make sense. If you. This is it, man. The work you put in, in regards to where you're positioning stop loss, take profit. If you're having a problem with losing loads and loads of trades, maybe look at them things because you're probably like over exaggerating a target. Do you need? Are you really trying to make 100 pips in one trade, for example? I see so many charts that like this TP is like right off the screen, and they've got a tiny ass little stop loss, and it's like, come on now. You know it ain't going to work without even looking at levels. It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, Pretty sensible. Nice option, dude. I like that. Solid markup of a chart. Understanding the overall bias. Sensible level. Understand what's going on there. Take sales at a certain position. Great effort. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But still, the plan makes sense. Um, Cliffy Plough says, "Yes, yeah, so there you go." That's a good trade, man. Good effort. I like the worksmanship. It's a good effort. Um, I have some questions. I'll have a look. Ashley Garlic, I ain't seen your chart, man. Are you following the protocol? Come on. 
Oh, there it is. Let me look at that now. How did I miss that? Oh, maybe I went for coffee because you know I go for coffee and that. Everyone says about that. Everyone jokes about me going for coffee, but when you've already made the trade, you can sit around and do nothing all day now. So it doesn't really matter if I had a coffee or not. Ashley Garrett's got in. Man, Ashley Garrett's got some added added confluences to his chart, man. Big ass pink lines. They've What's never that been there before. That in Japan? Yeah. yeah. Either that or it's a wave. Maybe he spilt something on it. Elliot Wave or something. He spilt something on it. It must be one of them little, you know, cocktails man's having on the beach. <laughs> 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 I like the idea. That's a great effort, man. What's this US USCM for, mate? Yeah, that's a nice play. Nice play. Well done, mate. Very nice to see. You know, he appreciates the banter anyway. Sean Lowe is going to stop looking. I don't know what he's going to do. Ah, Mr. Simon SMBFX. Good morning, good morning. Hope you're well, my man. Hope you're well. Yeah, all good, mate. Thank you. All doing really well. We're progressing nicely. Streams going well. Got a lot of interest in people, so it's always good. It's always good. Well, it's boring when you made a decent trade and you got nothing to do for the rest of the day, right? Got to talk then. <laughs> Aim and beat. <laughs> Be cool. Um, if I was to start with trading again, what would I focus on? Uh, simulation practice, 100%. I don't care about the whole... We had this discussion yesterday. I would not care. I'm, I'm quite strong-minded when it comes to psychological stuff in regards to people saying, oh, if you use demo, la, 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 you ain't going to be able to handle real money. Yes, it's a, it's a fact people can't, but I'm more interested in the process, man. If I get the process down... I'm going to be that confident when I come into it. I'm going to make successful trades. I'm going to hit it. And if I, if I make a loss, I know my hit ratio would be high. So if my hit ratio is pretty high, 80% or whatever, I'm not going to care if I take a loss because I know my next one's going to be fine. See what I'm saying? So I would have spent a lot more time on simulation. Lot, not demo, simulation. It's a big difference. So use a simulation package like what's on the stream um, list on the description. That's exactly what you want to use. Work with that as long as possible. Until you feel comfy to take real trades, go and then risk real money. And then if you struggle on the psychological side because you've lost, I don't know, 10 quid, then, you know, you will, ha you will need to work on that because that's a big step for everyone, right? But if you get the process down, you should believe in your analysis because you've done it long enough to understand that you're correct most of the time. So I would spend a lot more time on practice, um, only on simulate though, not demo like trying to do it for real on simulation where you can change times and all sorts of stuff because you still take into account news all sorts of stuff spread changes everything um, <clears throat> and also I wouldn't follow signals ever and I wouldn't listen to 20 worlds that talk bollocks because they don't know anything about what they're doing so these young 15 20 year olds trying to sell you signals and a course that they've made up come on now really you're gonna listen to a 20 year old I'm sure there's some clever ones out there, but they haven't got life experience and they can't work that way. And you go and trust paying thousands of pounds to someone that sells you a course that's probably younger than you. I made that mistake, trust me. It did not help me one, one bit. There were some courses I bought that were very good, I ain't going to lie. But they still didn't make me what I'm doing now. They gave me ideas. Yeah, I still do sim work, if I need to. If, I'm, if I find myself going through a little bit of a patch where I'm struggling, it might be that more than likely nowadays, it's the markets, I need to adapt to the market because something's changed in the dynamics. More than, I need to know how to make an entry, I need to look for a stop loss at the right level. I don't need to do that, so I don't go and practice that stuff. It's more than likely with gold, for example. Last year it was very easy to trade, I found. Um, obviously with all the stuff that's coming up with Corona, and pr even before Corona and stuff, it started getting a little bit leery. Um, and it changed. So the dynamics of how I was trading it on 5 minute, 15 minute, became extremely tough and a little bit harder. Then the spreads changed, but then March was an absolute beast because of the actual volume in gold. So it's easy to trade, but then as soon as it got to the end of um, March, it became a nightmare because the spreads were big and it just didn't move as much and as easy as it was so it's like you know what I'm gonna knock it on the head and you need to understand where you make that decision and that's something you pick up over time so you can't stimulate that change in market condition which you can practice but it doesn't mean that's what it's like right this second right if I use fib levels <laughs> yeah fib, to be honest fibs are, are, are some, it's a proven it does work if you use it correctly so it's actually not too bad but people that don't know how to use 
this is what I mean life experience and stuff and understanding how to trade and actually understanding what a fib is etc etc I could use a fib if I needed to I understand it to an extent but I don't need to do you know what I mean these youngsters will be out there yeah well if I use a fib and a trend line and EMAs and this this and this and you follow what I'm saying and uh, just use a 0 0.10 lot for your $100 account you'll be fine bro nah man I ain't gonna work that way just come, come and get free signals every day you're all good Our bower, hundred percent. See, man knows. Team flight life. I shit you not. I've seen a course that's about an hour long, that costs six, seven, eight hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more, and it is baby pips, and positive discussion about positive thinking. It's the biggest bullshit I've ever seen in my life, and someone will pay that money for it. Absolute horse crap. If, I, if people say, man, if I had a course, I could sell it for like 10k, because it'd be fire. But I don't need to sell a course when you come and talk and ask questions, right? This is the difference between people trying to sell you shit online on YouTube. Oh, come to my street, come and join this, come join this. Yeah, I've got Slack, that's important. That's a massive, that's like a mentorship all by itself, and it's 10 quid. Do you know what I mean? That's different. That's not like it's come and pay me a couple of thousand k, or whatever. You do you know what I mean? Don't, yeah, it's the same thing. Don't I don't need someone to come and pay me like 10k to come and be mentored. You know what I mean? Yeah, five p in a lollipop. I'll do it for a packet of crisps. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Little donation every so often. I ain't bothered. Whatever. A bit of thanks. That's all it is. Appreciation, isn't it? People that like the stream, people that send me posts about their um, what's it called? How they're progressing. That's what makes my day. I don't care about your lot size. Don't care about how much money you made. I don't care, oh, you've made 60 pips. None of that. Someone sends me a message, oh, <clears throat> since I watched your stream the last two months, or last three weeks or something, my discipline levels have improved dramatically because I've been paying attention to how you just sit there and chill, and you can sit on your hands and don't jump into trades. That's changed what they're thinking, their thought process. That's what makes my day. I don't care about who's making a successful trade or not. Things that are implemented into other people's trades and planning, that's what's more important to me. And I really don't care about I want people to be successful, obviously, but <clears throat> that's what I do. I'll shout out a trade or two because if you take a few of them, make a few quid, then you, if you want to be appreciative and send some donation, then fine. But I don't need it. I'd rather someone tell me that they've made 10 trades this week and they've won seven or eight. I'd love to hear that. That makes my day. Uh, plan now on TJs to wait to see some solid resistance or support form to see what's up basically that's it missed a trade this morning if you weren't here watch the first hour and 20 minutes of the stream we had a trade that lasted no more than probably 10 minutes um, and it was a banger called it to the minute near enough um, you just had to wait and watch and then listen up press the button if you had magic keys it would have been easy peasy if you didn't have magic keys you'd have to put a sell stop at the time and wait for it do your thing uh, what's my job before trading I used to work for a um, a race team cars um, I wonder if my entry was correct last night during Paul's session well it's only correct if it worked out man I appreciate it too thank you very much for the comments man appreciate the con comments see that's what's worthwhile people that are polite man oh you took trades yesterday I oh, bought nah I wouldn't be buying no GJ. There's no way. Look at the high time frame. Here yeah, is a little learn, little learner, little test. Four hour. Let's get rid of all this. Right. So I don't know where Monday is. What date was Monday? Eight. There, wasn't it? Seven. Seven. So Monday, chilled out, started pushing down, create support, broke support. What carries on after you break support? What happens? Push down, create support. It didn't break support and we pushed up. Chilled and then we started one, two, three, four solid candles. Or at the point you were trading, you had two or three solid candles which broke the support. To take a buy at that point was very dangerous. Kind of as was to take a sell at that stage on four hour. But if you're looking on lower time, you can get yourself a good option. But when you're looking at what you've just said there, you've got no, you're going against a high time frame momentum, which is three or four solid bearish candles why would you want to buy it you know you don't need to do that man you just need to wait for it to turn do its thing 
once it breaks there look you take a cell right see that one creates a resistance all them create resistance this fat candle close below take a cell stops above it aim to reach this level here and continue down you should be fine because you're following higher time frame momentum taking a buy at that point is a bit risky because of this I'm guessing you went on this candle I assume I don't get, did you t I don't know if you took a buy I'm really com I'm confused did you take a buy there I'm really confused if you took a sell there then banging but it says it's bought so I'm guessing it's going up but I'm a bit confused but now if you said you closed the trade there I'm guessing you took a sell at some stage well confused man oh so I was going to say it's well confused so yeah it took a sell trust I'll be moving stops probably if you're in from up here I'll probably have them up here somewhere but again if you took some profit already then you've taken profit already move your stock to a position where you're happy with that profit if it comes if you're happy up here holding it up here you shouldn't really come back into that zone for a little while yet um, but if you're happier having it up here somewhere then have it there look at the monetary side of it or the percentage gain depending on how you manage your account so if it's worthwhile you know if it's there or if you're just down here you might think you know what I'm done like me I'm, I'll close everything I don't care what happens now I'll look for another entry at some stage I don't need to hold a trade for weeks if I don't need to right but it would be nice if it continued down you'd be in a good position um, so entirely up to you you can either leave stops somewhere near break even at the top you know five or ten pips up something like that cover any kind of commission or any charges you might incur um, and then or move it down to the next zone so we've had a zone up here broke come back up create resistance on paper we shouldn't exceed that but it's still pretty close in regards to distance of pips so you could come back and come back another 30 pips and catch yourself out so I'd manage it similar to that if you put a stop at this level if you're comfortable with that loot loss of this much from here to here in regards to gain do that if you don't really care if it comes back to here leave a stop up there it depends if you're taking profit or not already if you took profit I'd move it somewhere down here Henry, appreciate you, man. Watch the stream all the time. Watch the replays. Tuesday's a banger to watch this week. If you missed the whole thing, watch Tuesday. It's very good. Today was also very good in regards to educational, how to take a specific trade based on what we're planning. Very, very good option. After that move, I don't think we're going to get an awful lot right now, to be honest. We'll have to probably wait and see how this candle closes now. Um, Mohammed, you're new here. Well, you should like the stream then, man. Don't forget to like the stream. Welcome, 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 welcome. Lots of viewers today. Appreciate those that are hitting the like button and subscribing. That's always good. It's helping us get a name out there. Always good, man. Um, Monty, I really enjoy your charting. It's another tool for the toolbox. Really would enjoy watching the Forex game. Prime living in the US is futures market trading. Ah, alright. I'm, I've never been into futures. Um, I've never really been into futures myself. It's not something I've ever really had an interest in because I've just done this forever. Um, well, not forever, but long enough. It's just something I, yeah, I've just never really got into. It's just not something I've really had an interest in. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure you do well with that type of stuff as well. So yeah, best of luck with it. I appreciate the support. Thank you ever so much for popping in. Uh, Carl Newlands. Let's, actually, no, there's a question from someone else up there. I missed it. I'm not. I was going to read it, but I missed it. Who was it? it was damn it where's it gone some I think it's something Nolan and I think he's in slack as well I think if you're still here ask that question again because I read it and I didn't get time to answer it and I completely forgot I remembered it and I think I remembered your name I'm calling you out Nolan something Nolan I think maybe Chris Nolan can't remember shoulders and shoulders or whatever they're called yeah I don't look at shoulders but cool if that works for you wicked nice TP pretty cool that level there to the left was very key we discussed this level over here which is very important next level down here very sensible pretty cool if you're gonna hold the stops I'll be at break even by now it's a big ass stop loss but you know if you're happy taking it and holding a the stop up there then fine will work out well so hopefully you don't get no jack uh, reactions from this level and continue back up the other way but if you're comfortable where it is now, go to break even, man. You know, you took some profit. Or if you're a swing trader, it's different. Obviously, that you don't care about that stop loss. It's, uh, excuse me, part of the play. 
so it shouldn't really go above this white line anymore I wouldn't have expected but we don't know also be realistic how long is it going to take to do 300 pips so we're going to do that today or tomorrow if you're looking to trade it just today probably not right if you're looking to do it over the rest of the week potentially will you be making a sell when GJ took this 136 so it's going to go to 136 is it that's what you're saying is it what I said was I'd like to see a solid resistance or support form before I decide on what I'm doing did you hear that do you want me to repeat it I am waiting for a solid support or resistance to be formed before I make a decision we've made a trade do we need to make another one exactly right now no Sammy Nolan you've been bringing on that <laughs> now someone asked a question I didn't want to miss it it's a sen it's a very sensible question I can't scroll up far enough and I can't find it so I apologize if someone sent a really legit question and I didn't answer it because it was a very good trade uh, very good um, question I know it needed a bit of discussion so I was waiting for the right time and then I forgot what it was um, Monty should we try and stay away from taking trades in the range yesterday well ask yourself Tyrone did you take a trade yesterday and lose in the range simple answer right if you did and you got hammered like 90% of people in this place I would say you do what we said yesterday and don't trade in the range because we said it all yesterday morning we even marked out where to take trades from where to take trades uh, tra take trades to where to be sensible safe areas where to be bad areas what you do and don't do in this level and then what I do go to the free chat group and was like, oh I've just lost loads of money I've just done this I've just entered this GJ moved 10 pips I'm gonna take a bite man it hurt my head reading what people were saying trust but we talked about it all morning Carlo pointed out levels it was legit everyone just needs to listen up man and then we just go straight in there and it's like oh oh I've just took a ball on GJ because that candles formed it's like man it's like, yeah there's no helping some people so you know you can't John Wick lost 1k I've got no sympathy honestly I ain't it, uh, people it, if you're new to trading and you come to get some experience and some advice and some opinion we ain't gonna tell you the bad thing to do if you want to trade in a range go ahead learn it learn that these weeks are gonna hammer you learn that these weeks are gonna hammer you learn that this is gonna be ball like and you're gonna have to hold it for six hours before anything happens look how long that is in hours it's like a day oh it moved up so I'm gonna buy it oh well unlucky oh it's come down I'm gonna sell it oh unlucky that's dying we said sell it below this yellow line what happened there oh see ya it's right on there uh, Jay I ain't savage man it's just like it's truth people need to learn it's it's hard and at the end of the day if you try and protect capital and you go into place, places to get experience and a bit of advice people need to listen up because we ain't going to say stuff that's bullshit right it's going to be opinion you don't have to take it on board but we've all been through that stage We've I've bought at this point I've been John Wick I've bought there and been John Wick I've sold it down here and it's not worked we're just trying to pass on you know a little bit of help because we don't want to see people failing the more people that are successful the better right because it's going to help the community and the, and the industry because otherwise people are going to be jumping in all these schemes with algos and some certain stuff that look you know, not there's good algos and stuff out there as well don't get me wrong but there's people that push stuff like that that people just jump all up in that's going to cause a problem for the for the industry over over time I believe and that's going to be a problem <clears throat> so the better you lot do the easier it is for the industry to keep working the right direction uh, John Wick means you become that wit right there that's something we've made up same as get planned or get banged it's only magic keys in front of your bottom right corner of your screen that's the everything you should be doing you should be like hashtag get planned or get banged do it man it's awesome to see so many people are doing it right now it's unreal <laughs> Uh, um, JR, I didn't see your chart. By the way, send it again. I didn't see it unless it weren't in here. Well, yes, that bullish candle was crazy. Yeah, but the problem is, John Wick, you are selling it in the wrong position. You can't sell it at that stage it's too late you're too late in the move look at what's happened 
you're trying to sell it down here it's not going to happen you have to wait now to see a resistance form maybe on 15 minute maybe on 30 minute to then continue down this might flip and start going down then it might be an option but trying to sell it on this candle is not cool selling it on this candle is not cool we've said why we explained it at the time if you want to go with it the risk is high but you could go with it if you want but you're going to be risking right it's your call as long as you calculated the risk and you know you, you risk a certain percentage and you're happy with that percentage happy to do it right Um, can you please help me? Sometimes you make that resistance support line at the end of the wick and sometimes the end of the candle body. No, that's, that's incorrect. My support and resistances are always at the end of the bodies. This is not a support resistance. It's becoming a support resistance because it's working its way down to it, right? But this is a high time frame level. This is not a support resistance. This We just explained this earlier one. That was my five minute entry procedure based on what I was explaining to someone earlier. Uh, where is it? There it is. So, we had a nice little McDonald's one time. This came down to here, rejected this level, came up. Came down five minute, bust down below, came back up. What happened there? That's where I started to think, oh, if we start to reject this, I may look for a lower entry because if you look on a higher time frame, this was a big ass red candle. Pull back to continue back down we got a bit of consolidation in here because of like pre-london we we're doing an awful lot then we started to break down then we took the trade we said into london at eight o'clock which was the volume push which we expected a couple of minutes past eight did its thing jackpot get out the trade let it do its thing for the rest of the day and then we look for another entry you know what i'm saying but it's always my 30 minute resist if i was doing it now barking it up 30 minute resistance and support my resistance would be here well, maybe there actually now, in all seriousness. Yeah, probably there. I'll probably use that as my resistance at the minute. Them two candle bodies and supports there. Which means you've got a tiny ass little range. And that's why we're doing what? Ranging in the little 15, doing nothing. If the range was from there to there, we'd be doing this. Like we did yesterday. See what I'm saying? When we break out of it, we said take a sell. What happened? fine when we said break out of there easier sales were there what happened filled the wicks there it's all on the all on the videos man you just got a little oh shit you just got to listen up but these these markers today are not 30 minute resistance and support because they sound aside what they are look see what i'm saying and don't follow that pink line anymore because it's not sell here anymore because that's what was earlier before people start selling it uh, McDonald's play, you can't beat the McDonald's play. Uh, don't want to be stuck in the gulag chas, you damn straight. Uh, half a ten pits and leave when I break even. Do, 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 do. Patience is key, man, believe that. Rav's going to tell me some patterns that happen all the time. This will be very interesting. Come on, Rav, let's see what Rav's got today. Appreciate you making the effort. What patterns are these going to be? Is this going to be funny? Oh, it's not a pattern. Oh, I see what you're saying. Time and time again. I have been seeing either pre-London half 7, 7.45 or London 8am to get a big volume push. And looking at our higher time frame analysis, it's likely to push down further. A pattern that I'm starting to notice. Ladies and gentlemen, that is someone that's making the effort. And this is what we said the other day. He sent another chart in. Rav hasn't even been trading long, but he wants to be successful. He's putting the work in. Look at that. Who does that? Who goes and makes the effort? And it's not just from watching the streams. That's for doing your own homework. You want to put the effort in? You'll get there. Where, what, what happened at this candle? Eight o'clock. What's he saying there? Eight o'clock. It's how you trade, man. Go put some graft in. Rav, respect, mate appreciate that very very good but another thing Rav you, in an addition to that should we say yes you might notice that this week and last week for example or the week before or the week before that or the last six months or whatever when you start to see that change slightly with a time shift for example it may be you know it starts at 8 instead of 7.45 or 7.30 for example you, that's when you need as a trader when you're a little bit more advanced 
you may need to adapt then so we've spoke about uh, Mikhail a few times about it being maybe a little bit earlier pre-London has been starting maybe a few moves that we've missed because we have to try and get in and force one when we're in London session but earlier it would have been a lot easier when Angelo's awake so because of his time zone am I going to open the stream up a bit earlier we haven't seen it enough to make sense of that at the minute so it doesn't make sense to right and trust I ain't getting up at four o'clock five o'clock every day no 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 I'll still make my trades when I normally trade but I need to be aware that that may have changed so when you come to the chart maybe don't expect that push at half seven right because it's now starting at six for example half six or seven fifteen they're the things that you need to try and grasp you know what I mean because you'll see that anti you see that movement and you'll start to see it change that's when you need to adapt to the market or be aware of what's happening at different times and then you can then modify your trade plan accordingly and then take trades at the correct times that you've seen but again it all goes with work but if you want to trade if you're looking at the same time frame every day at the same time you're going to see that every day so all you do is what I say every week get a bit of paper I'm old school yeah fine some of you might have laptops and tablets and all that now but man's got paper and pen so write it down write what's up tell me what happens at half seven tell yourself what happens at half eight tell me that we have a retracement at this time tell me that we have to wait to resistance and stuff it's easy easy feedback form sent send I don't understand that question um, Where's JR's chart? I can't even see JR's chart. Why's JR's chart not even on my screen? Oh, there it is. God damn it. <laughs> There's dabs and all sorts in there. <laughs> we should have done that for the gram. <laughs> oh my days. Every time we hit a trade. Um, <clears throat> I don't get your yellow resistance slide. Try looking back to see what why is there could you explain again please resistance line are you talking about what which one this this we currently haven't got a resistance really at this point maybe just here what we just discussed if you mean that that's a support or well, that's a potential area of interest look one hour watch for reaction go back on a one hour and see what's up resistance is up here old daily resistance go and look in the daily see where that line goes you've got the number right there look you'll see and we would have seen on the daily this had an imp interesting point all the way across you see what I'm saying and this is how I work my time frames we did it the other day we looked at oil I don't even know where oil is at now we did this right this is a chart we marked up in a webinar based on a daily chart only daily right so we looked at it on daily that's what we were talking about we planned it on a daily I haven't taken a trade it's just something I was looking at I'm trying to prove to people how daily high time frame targets and levels work and it's gonna be something you have to leave for a week or two to see what's up but we started off down here right perfect went into profit because of the levels we discussed and we're looking all across the board here right your supply and demands areas stuff like that you have to pay attention to so all that is interlinked on the high time frame with your lower time frames, so then you can move down and see what happens at these levels. Oh look, what happened there? Oh, what's happening here? Fake out, support forming, oh. support forming, solid resistance forming, broke down, break up, take a buy, comes down. Oh, fleeced that. Everyone's get fleeced because they're trying to sell it. No, fake out. Look it on one hour. What happens now? Oh look, it's so easy. But that's how that's how high time frames can assist you, and that's why when I do my charts on on here, when I'm coming up to something like this, I need to pay attention. See what I'm saying? Because I know it's going to be important, right? Same as we just said, this is one hour level, but we also know around the same level, this is a solid, solid daily zone. Why? Look, look at the wick on that red candle on the right look at the tops of the candle bodies to the left you can't get more accurate if I draw a line across there which one's it gonna be oh that's my level the one hour one which is then the daily one go back to the 30 minute chart there it is know what I'm saying sorry can I just quickly interrupt yo look at gold peak mr. optimistic <laughs> it, it really is easy mate people overthink things and make it hard 
it can be tough when you begin because you're not got the knowledge but you it's easy to find that knowledge because you have to just do the work and go and look into it you have to go and research stuff you have to go and put graft in the more and more effort you put into it the more you're going to gain out of it god's a fuck man that's hitting levels as well mmm hasty on it yeah a little bit oh, I can't I, ain't, I don't want to risk it I've had such a good day already I don't really want to play it but yeah in all seriousness I don't want it to come across as arrogant it's not that it's a simple fact as if you know Rav who's just literally topped above you look at what he just did then right he's already explained this this this, this and this and this he's been trading no time whereas other people that have been trading six months eight months send a chat with no analysis on there's a distinct difference and we've seen it again and again over the years of how people make the effort and how they don't trading can be hard if you let it get to you psychologically but the fact remains is you're just making a decision that's all you're doing you're making a decision based on your analysis if your analysis is super in depth you might make it hard for yourself and then it becomes tough big fat red candles on the four hour more than likely means we're going down that's about as easy as it gets right you don't need to go into depth too much how do you mark up a high time frame chart let's go to oil just for an example high time frame daily what's most important okay so at this point we were breaking up that's important resistance that's important resistance uh, what's in between there nothing so is it just gonna go straight up maybe not let's go and see what's to the left and see what's there yes it's a long way back but that's the only data we've got so maybe you want to be aware of the fact that price bounces off this level consistently for a long time before we broke up let's mark it just to see if we get to that point we may have a problem we may want to see if it starts to reject we might want to close the trade and then as I said on the lower time frames you can see how relevant it becomes that's not made up that's there you know that's how much you need to look at your time frames and stuff and you can make it as in-depth as you want but it's not hard it really isn't you just got to be sensible in how you plan be structured in your approach do the same stuff each day get in a plan even write it down that's why we suggest having a trade plan do the same stuff every morning get up look at the news is there any news coming that's going to affect my pair no okay cool so then what where's the price moved overnight oh. what happened in asian what happened in london clothes you know yeah. makes a big difference man trust I'm playing. I'm playing. I was it. trying to tell you. Uh, nah, to tell nah, you nah. I ain't taking it. Nah, nah. I'll show you later on. I, ain't, I don't need to take more trades. It's an option on 30 minutes. Even that's an option on 30 minutes. To be honest with you. So that's actually a pretty good example, ladies and gentlemen. So we're in a little bit of a consolidation, but we kind of broke up solidly to, you know, we've hit a top level. Um, as I said, it's not just going to go to 17.65 in one go, and it's not just going to go down to 14.50 in one go either. It's going to be a lot of movement simple fact we've got resistance <clears throat> let's just mark this up so resistance is formed up there support is down at the bottom there we've pushed up we're on 30 minute chart right so that's a safe bet we've got a little bit of a area in the middle that might be a bit of an issue here so we've come up with a news whatever it might be stops at this level that's i've just moved that there it's not made up right you can see it's right there Re reaction so if you're taking buys at this point when you get to that level you want to look to take profit because there might be a problem or a reaction if it breaks through it then you're probably going to continue right it's a high chance it didn't on the next one still and you're like, oh, okay fine so now we're gonna this one broke down 30 minute closed below the candle body and exceeded it if you wanted to take it from the top of this zone to the potential bottom here you take a sell there stops above there target down here but look at this level here which we've marked up clearly in the past for some reason we need to find out why which to be honest I can't remember it's a long time ago but either way we've marked that zone up for some reason it's still working maybe a high time for a level I can't be bothered to go look through it now I'm not trading gold but still we need to pay attention to this level which is a better than one to one trade to this point you would take some profit here because you may see a reaction but your overall target would be to get to there maybe exceed it and continue down right maybe correct yesterday's news move we don't know yet but until we start getting past here we can't make that decision but if you're in from here as Carlo pointed out not long ago you could have took that trade but again that's it. at the minute I'm not really trading gold that much I did a bit it last night just to catch what was going on but you think could lower the time frame and move better stops you can maybe have different stops and stuff you know so there's a lot of things you can look at but fact remains 
most recent resistance most recent support with a little bit of disrespect in the middle to be honest which could be what we're going to see now look see that ain't even made up we just come to this chart look see that reacting there if you're in profit at this point you want to take profit because that could pull back up here and you just lose half your profit real quick that's where you need to be accurate with your stuff and all it is is using the candle bodies and high time frames and the most recent resistance and support on 30 minute that's it write it down do that every day map out your most recent resistance and support go and look at high time frames high time frame levels that's been there for weeks that's been there for long it still works right it doesn't go away and yes if you're looking on a zoomed out version it makes your chart look peak because it's like a mess but when I'm trading I'm not trading all the way out there I'm trading right up in here so I'm only gonna see a couple and they're gonna be the most relevant things right see what I'm saying how many years I've got trading left of me? I could trade every day, to be honest with you. I've got no issue in stopping. I don't need to stop. It's interesting, it's fun. If I got bored of it, then I'd do something else. But then I'll find that there's always something I can do, like Ted and that. They started looking at, um, oh, what was it? US 30 and Euro, oh, I can't remember, something. They looked at a Euro pair and US 30. That's like a new thing, because he wanted a little challenge, you know, something else. Maybe to keep himself interested, maybe he's the same, you know? We all know he makes good good income from it and stuff, but it's more of a an interest for him as a test, as a challenge. Same as that, you know. It's, if I find the lack of interest in it, I might look at something else. Like maybe I'm going to start looking at something else, different chart, or maybe play a different way. How can I maximise that move I took this morning? Maybe having multiple entries instead of one single one and adding one single one later. Maybe I could have had big en lots of entries at the start, and then you know what I mean. We'll see. Anna K, appreciate you. Thank you ever so much. I think I explain things in my own way. I think I understand it. I'm not sure anyone else does. <laughs> That's the thing. I know what I'm talking about. You lot are probably like, what? But this is the thing. Keep coming back time and time again. We only talk about the same stuff every day. And then you'll get it anyway, eventually. But like, oh yeah, actually, I'll get it. Same as I said, you ain't going to want to buy, ain't going to want to sell. Why? Because it keeps doing this crap right now. Leave it alone wait for a solid resistance or support form look for a trade if that means that's New York that's how it is do you know what I mean that's how it is it's going to be later on either way we maximise which move of the day the biggest one because why back testing understanding what comes at 2 minutes past 8 or whatever it is do you know what I mean laptop lifestyle £125.77 I think you owe me 77p well done man very well very well done nice to see it's always nice to see people profiting growing in any way whether it's financially or if it's through education which is my that would be my favorite to be honest with you I'm not bothered about the monetary side i'm more interested about you gaining something so you can take something away and progress yourself you know that's it do i use wicks for high time high time frame support resistance no map p not really i use bodies of candles that's just my way of doing stuff wicks are targets in my opinion or potential rejection areas like a zone so just for example now as a basic vision that would be my resistance or oh, my bad that would be my support but i know anywhere in these candle wicks there could be a reaction all right so i know if i'm taking profit on the way down i'm going to probably take some profit at this yellow line because i've over the years understood that if I'm aiming for this wick for example for the target I've lost not lost I've succeeded to hit that wick less times than I have halfway up or three quarters of the time I'd hit it when it was on the body so plan my trades to the body you see what I mean? so higher time frame I'll still use candle bodies right keep that in mind again that's my personal way of doing things because I found that helped me doesn't mean it's gonna be the same for you wicks are wicks they still went to that price but i see that's where price went to so it's got a chance to get to it again it's got a chance to get to the body it's got a high chance see what i'm saying get me get me get planned or get banged you know actually looking on the 30 if it starts to bust down one time really no nah, i'm not going again not going again elon must just text me i need to just chill I just got. Amanda sent me a tweet, innit? Um, Elon. Yeah, Elon Sorry. just hit me up. He's like, nice trade, bro. And I was like, ah, oh, sick. <laughs> 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 now I swear down, he just tweeted, and it's uh, just come up on my phone. <laughs> 
you know, I said, yo, do you want to trip to space? Yeah, yeah, sound, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Chucking us, how do you get fleeced? Come on now. What fleeced you? I bet you took a buy. A hundred percent put money on you took a buy on that candle. Well, maybe not. I'm not going to bet money, but I bet you did. <clears throat> Jim Donnelly, you best believe when the London's open, there's going to be a big, big meet up. Well, it depends if everyone comes. You know, if no one turns up, no one turns up, right? But I'm going. I'm going to lose my. I'm going to lose my rag in London hard. I'm going to go off the chart. So I'm looking forward to it. It's been like a pent up aggression. You know, like when something consolidates, like real bad, like that, and then like you got your four hour, and then you get that nasty breakout, and it just goes nuts like that. That's going to be London. So we're going to. We'll probably time it in all seriousness when Raquel does his um, London meet for his market fluidity students and stuff. <clears throat> and his seminar, uh, we'll probably time it for around the same time so we can have a proper big, you know, a big thing. It'd be nice to have everyone meet together, right? Because we all know who each other is. We're all the same kind of community. So it'd be pretty cool networking, you know, that's the main thing about what we do here. People meet people, you know. It's nice to have someone to talk to when you're trading, right? Whether it's something that can progress you and your business or your ideas or something. It could be anything, man. It could just be a friend, you know, just someone you have a chit chat with. Like me and Carlo and that, none of us knew each other before we started doing this. We all have a bit of banter and stuff. When Kevil can be asked to speak, he's pretty cool as well, you know. Nick, we all know, does fuck all. So. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> 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 Nick, Nick, you can just. Well, See, Kevil's not spoke for a month and he didn't yeah. even get the abuse. <laughs> I was gonna say if we meet up again, there's no none of me picking somewhere where we're gonna meet up. Nah, we'll Remember be last uh, time. Yeah. Yes. Oh mate, never again. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> never again. <laughs> it's oh, never again what? Can you not remember? You took us to a pub that was closed on a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, that is, that is. Wild. That was dead, man. <laughs> we went far yeah, as we well. The venue, what, like 20 minutes? Yeah, we went far. Then we ended up in that stinky, nasty place. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's good. We got beer, though. It's all right. So it was cool. Um, that coffee is cold. Hey man, you best believe it's cold. Maybe I should make a text. That 30 minute play might not have worked out too bad, you know. Just just, just putting it out there because it's 10 to the, the massive candle that's coming. 10 hour team. So I am taking a trade now based on that 4 hour candle open. But trust me, if the 4 hour candle opens and just hammers it, I'm going to be like, man, I knew it was coming. So I'm calling it now, just in case. So I actually think that's going to be the. I think that'll probably push up a little bit and then hammer down. Would not surprise me, to be honest. Um, but. It looks like it might well do it before. <laughs> it's a bitch. So then if it does, the <laughs> four hour might just pull up and rinse everyone. So don't just yes. jump in the trade, trust me. Honest please listen. Don't just jump in the trade right now. The trend is strong, my friend. You're damn straight. But it ain't broke them wicks yet, so I'll just be calm. You know, you don't need to this is where sitting on your hands, learning discipline, paying attention. It's not free mentorship, trust. Right. That cold, that coffee is cold, man. It's just come to my attention. Someone mentioned it, and now it is nasty. Not cool. There you go. Don't take a trade. Yo. Yellow lines don't lie, man. I'm, I'm trying something cheeky on gold, you know. Bruh, you ain't buying that. Not yet. I oh, know you're buying it. I was just think, I was thinking a minute no, ago. Yet. I was like, is it gonna get down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> level where I took buys yesterday. Trust it makes yeah. sense, it makes enough sense that's, in my opinion. That's what I'm doing. Lower time frame would make sense. I'm gonna set a little limit. Only on a 10 knot, just so that I could just see how it works. Oh, yeah, I'd even I've go as far as there. Sort of play for a little while. I'd even go down to 6 to 26. Possibly, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. these wicks and this level was the key yesterday for the trade boy. Mm. So I wouldn't be surprised if you come down as far as that with a wick. Maybe not, not now, because it's, well, it's the end of the hour, but soon. That would be a nice area. It'd be nice to go here first, but I mean, this is where stops are still what you're gonna have. Probably, I would have to have stops below here for me. This is what I mean. The difference for how you see it and me is it's, there's a big difference. So I mean, I wouldn't. Mm. I ain't sure. For me, I'd probably like twenties. You know, 23, 24. These wicks get out of the way of them. Or do limits around that level potentially. But we'll see, man. See how it plays out. See how it plays out. That's why you don't take sales, aren't you, Jay? Um, yeah, cold coffee just tastes nasty right now. How to analyze which currency is strong on a daily basis. You use the, what's it called? Fuck me. 
Chinese indicator. I don't even know what the website is though. And it's not called the Chinese indicator. What's it called? I don't know. If anyone knows it, tell Rajesh. Let him know what that is. But I, was, um, I wouldn't just use that. I think it's like currency strength and it's from live charts or something like that. Oh, I think you're right. Hang on, let me oh we got six minutes, we're good. So currency what's it called? What did you just say? Strength. Strength. Meter. I think so. Let's do that one. Oh I oh, love charts, there yeah, you go. Live that's it, that's it. Yeah boy! So there we go. I'm gonna save that website. Let's just uh do I used that. To use this before I um before you became an adult, <laughs> it's like <laughs> before I grew up. <laughs> oh. Before I learned the ba before I learned the basics, yeah. I wouldn't take it into consideration, but obviously at this point in time, you need to buy chuff against AUD. So chuff versus AUD, buy chuff. Who's this fool? Oh, how can he even get a video on there? What can my video be on there? I'm gonna need to look into that. Everyone uses the Chinese in indicator. Huh, amplifier train, I'll have to go and check that one out one time. Interesting, so there you go. That's it, check news. How often do you check news? When I first open the charts in the morning, is there anything that's gonna affect my currency pair today? No. Well, potentially a little bit of Euro stuff that could have a, 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 a small effect, I would say. Unless there's a very, very big problem going on in the world, because we're pretty linked, but it shouldn't really affect it at all um, by chuff that's what it says man it's chuff odd chuff versus odd <laughs> my thoughts on gold currently sell position but looking at a potential buy if it gets down a little bit lower down at 26 28 something like that but currently it's the end of the hour would you be looking to take some buys or sells five minutes before the hour open probably not right it's a bit dangerous you got a four hour big candle opening on currency pairs in five minutes. Not cool, man. Yep, tomorrow, even Evan, there will be data tomorrow, 100%. So today is good. We maximize the morning, right? Because we've got a bit of New York to come. I might do New York. I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I didn't go on, um, obviously, Rakil's stream wasn't around on Tuesday because he, he, you know, he didn't know how to build a computer because, you know, he's special. And then he obviously grew as a person, YouTubed it learned how to be a technician and now he's a you know a technical support guy on the side very good um, so yeah he's got his computer fixed came on yesterday I didn't go on yesterday because um, it was a rangy day and I, 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 to be honest I couldn't really see it coming out of the range um, I think they did take some options though at some stage um, but yeah until the news was passed I wasn't interested in the chats at all so I didn't go on there yesterday but I may well do today um, so we can brag about what we did this morning basically because hopefully you you guys go in there and then you know we smashed Tuesday and then it just so happens Raquel didn't turn up Tuesday. I think I think he was a little bit you know put back a bit you know you know we set standards. I'm not sure he could make like hundred pips that quick. I think that's why we didn't come on Tuesday. He just blamed his computer, right? Smashed it all up and put it on Instagram so everyone thought his computer was broke. Mad mad time. <laughs> 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 uh, it's good though he put that back together real good being he's never done it before fair play man I won't be able to do it I still think he bottled doing New York session but you know that's just me <laughs> <laughs> he's probably listening right now as well you <laughs> say that he, he saw the pip again he was like I can't replicate that in New York well so damn straight cause I, told, today. I told like 1200 people to go and watch the New York stream and go and tell everyone how good we did because they got to keep up <laughs> and then because we go first in the day because obviously we're first because it's early morning here they've got to stand up and they got to, you know do their thing and then uh, yeah we didn't get the opportunity to tell them it seems odd right it's suspicious suspicious <laughs> <laughs> why is the four hour and a candle so important well it's not important at all it's just the same it's the end of an hour but the thing is with a four hour candle this is closing bearish Four hours of candles are big, right? What happens? I would expect this four hour candle coming. This isn't going to flip in the next five minutes, right? Two minutes. I would expect the next four hour candle to respect this high and continue down. But that's a long way, right? So it's pulling up now from the daily zone, which we spoke about already. And it may 
open a push up real quick without a bottom wick and if it does that I'm going to be so interested because I would be very interested in potentially taking a sell as soon as it starts to come down and create the lower wick right so it would be nice let's just draw a picture so maybe we can take a picture of this because if this happens this would be pretty cool annotate draw a thing so if it does this oh that's the wrong one for example if the next candle does this with no bottom wick what I'd like to see is something that ends up like that potentially next oh that's a gay that's rubbish so I actually wanted to see that but if it opens up like that in the first hour with no lower wick you know look at all the candles man even if every candle has a lower and top wick it doesn't mean it's always going to happen but it gives you that high probability chance if you start seeing a lower time frame during this candle something starts to form a decent resistance we start to break down on 30 minute take a sell follow it down it will get to the bottom of that and then we'll continue so let's see what happens if it goes down and creates a lower wick first then you're not going to get an option right <gasps> what's happening maybe maybe oh my days it's like i just predicted the future man bust down now that would be mint <laughs> another 30 bits instantly off the bat that would be mad <laughs> but still what you would like to see on a lower time frame regardless of what's happening now that would be the idea anyway that that's what you tend to look for a higher time frame if you see that happening it's too early to do it now it doesn't make sense but if it pulled up deep like really high there's a good chance that was going to happen right so that's the kind of thing you'd want to see um, but it's you know it's not going to do that right now. But on the hot, on the lower time frames, what you'd be looking for first and foremost would be 30 minutes or something to create a decent support or resistance or something, and then break down. As soon as it starts to break down, you know at that point, like now, we're starting to create a lower wick on a four hour, which realistically should, if we carry on momentum and stuff, get to the bottom of this candle, which is the previous four hour low. If you break below here, maybe you want to take a trace of there. You know what I'm saying? lots of stuff lots of stuff to think about but four hour open can be quite volatile sometimes so sometimes if you're in a trade you may want to close up beforehand because it could whip up real quick because a four hour pullback could be deep a lot deeper than say a 30 minute open oh no Ben Heath it just it's just something you anticipate if it did for example come up heavy and there was no bottom wick and then it starts to reject from this level obviously you can imagine what your four hours doing at that time it's going from being a big fat green candle with the top wick the further down it comes the higher the wick becomes as soon as it becomes a red candle that's going to be classed as a rejection of a level say for instance it came up here as soon as it pushes down it ends up being a, looking like a rejection okay and if you're rejecting a high time frame level or previous here for example this resistance level or not quite but this old support it would then start to be a rejection candle and at that stage rejection candle would be in continuation which then theoretically on paper should fill this candle and then continue like that one did 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 it did da, 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 da. that's so you got to see it as it's pushing up right now we've already got a bottom wick i wouldn't really play that game so it's pretty interesting how it just kind of does that you know it's something you just want to keep an eye on I'm not a market maker, man. Not a chance. I'm not in the 80s. Uh, right. I'm going to have to go for a second because it's smoke break time. But yeah, I'm not, like I said, GJ, there's no real interest in taking trades at this point. We've told you why not. We've explained why this is just peak right now. Maximize the only main option we had this morning. Perfectly well. It's a great trade. Apart from me holding my runner because I got told to do it. Uh, apart from that bit, everything's perfectly fine. Great trade. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> he ain't living that down for the rest of the week. He got told to do it. I took someone else's advice. Ruin my life. Luckily, man, I had trades from that wick, literally the John Wick up there, so I'm fine. So as long as that happened, if I didn't have that on a sale, I would have closed it. I did explain that at the time because it was more of a, if we get a continuation, I'll be happy. I wasn't really worried about that trade. The runner's a runner. Still just you have people on, on hooks and the negatives. I've given you five, I've given you five signals this week. Right? Five signals. <laughs> five signals. <laughs> to be yeah, fair, what it, what's that? Wait, I'm Nick's input to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> In a bit. 
Oh, I'm out. Do that. You I, think I've had, I think I've had more of an input than Kevil this week. <laughs> to be fair, I, I would, I would agree. I would agree, yeah, I would I agree this week. <laughs> thanks for that. Straight here, uh, You're good. You're good. Nah, fuck you. I put it. I put it in the Telegram. Oh, I'll have a look. Well, I'm going to go have a smoke quick. Keep an eye on this. I mean, if you want to start training it, be careful. It's the same level we had before, but it's very, very dangerous at this point. So do not jump into stuff. Be patient. Be patient. I keep saying it. Trust me, it works. You've lost all your gains. Sure. DP wasn't patient. Chalk or something. I'm going to go and go and check. <laughs> chalk. Chalk. Something. Hey, don't, don't, chalk. Don't come back. <laughs> oh, this is a dead chat. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do on the stream every day? Well, we just rinse each other all day, basically. Take trades, just chill, make a few quid and just take the piss out of each other. And then abuse people online. Um, what's happening in the Slack group? JR making a tutorial about my knowledge. Come on now, peak. Better be a good one, I'll tell you now. Um, right, I'm going to be back in a minute. Oh, my man got 15 pips, he's going to come back tomorrow. Appreciate that, go do your thing. That's, your ten that's, that's why your four-hour candle don't play. Right, I'll be back in a minute. You know, old people are, they just refuse to listen. Oh, they're nightmare, mate. Yeah, absolute nightmare. nightmare. Nick, I've been training GU recently. Been going well for you? Yeah, so far. It's an interesting pad. You've been trading that one minute thing? Yeah. Yeah. Add for a minute, child. <laughs> <laughs> Does have some really nice moves in London, and you can usually probably dump for the day if you if you get them. That's a good trade. I think it was two days ago, or three days ago, um, <clears throat> at eight p.m. Yeah, that's that, that, that's a bit peak. Yeah. Should you... <clears throat> Mate, I was in it for like for ten o'clock when the spreads changed, and man, it was wild. Yeah, it doesn't always move similar to DJ, which is fine. Thought it would. Yeah, sometimes they both move really well, and other times you'd just be looking at going, I want to go in, or the other's going down. Weird. Yeah, because it's like, if you if you looked on the, the, the 30 minute for GU, for example, it looks like it's been in a range all week, whereas GG has just been dropping on the 30 minute. The trend this week is bearish, I ain't having it. <laughs> Literally, oh my day. I just looked at the daily chart. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh I'm just not even. If you look at GU 
12710-ish. This seems to be a one hour broken support. Might turn into resistance, but you may need to watch over a couple of hours. And you may get the move in New York. But that's what I'm looking at. Uh, Matt Kobe asked in the YouTube chat about GU. So I just said he's coming up to a broken support turned resistance now. So just see what he does around there, around the 12710 area. Yeah. And then for New York, he could carry on heading straight back down. What up, what up, what up? Yo, who's been stealing up the chat? Dual Paradise. Sounds like a porn star. Alright, um... Oh, God did a jump, no? Oh, naughtiness. Like, right as we get there, it's an entry. Um, oh, I'll just <laughs> leave it, Nick. <laughs> Do you know what? What are you saying on that? Um, That's a bit late. That's a bit late now. Won't. Yeah, it's, it's it probably he's going to retest that high though. To be fair. Yeah. I like it for retesting the high. I think you should have to use it stops too far, Mark, really. Yeah, for me, I don't. Yeah, right. yeah, I'd have to try and play that at lower time frame. That's a, right, there's a good example, ladies and gentlemen, of a solid, solid vision in regards to what we try and play every day. It doesn't always look as easy as that. This is 15 minute, obviously. But you can see how we've got. Obviously, we've had a bit of an uptrend, obviously, from yesterday's news. We had a bit of a pull back and chill out. It's not really done much through Asia. It's just chilled. You can see the difference in candle sizes and stuff. And obviously, we've had this movement this morning, which is from this support level. Above this other support level, which we created, like we said earlier, a little bit of a area that could be a bit of a problem. This line that's been there for weeks and weeks that we discussed as well is an area that we said, if it was coming down, you'd take sales, you would like to see 
some kind of take a profit at this stage just in case you get fleeced boom you've got an absolute rinser that's going to take you out of the game but as you can see this is the perfect formation for a potential buy I'm not saying take a buy don't get that wrong I'm just saying this is something you look for in regards to you create solid resistance at the top you've had a support we've got a little bit of bullish momentum now it's pulled back created a solid support as this candle if this had closed above this candle you probably would have looked for a buy instantly as this is pushing up you could well look for a buy I'm not saying take this now because I wouldn't myself it's not not because I've taken trades just because I'm not really sure on how things are progressing at the minute this is 15 minute only it's just a good example of what we look for from a structure base based on solid support pushed up create a high resistance which is cool came back down and now it starts to push up after creating support that is the perfect setup in regards to trading I would love to see this on a 30 minute chart it doesn't look like that on 30 minute as you can see it looks a little bit leery but you've got this kind of I wouldn't class it as a full rejection but it gives you that option 15 minutes is going to be dodgy to play on gold like this it's not really why I'd take a trade you see so that's the reasons behind not taking a trade but it's just a good example of how we look for structure formations on different pairs it's a very good idea to keep that kind of in mind draw a picture and the same goes the opposite way um, opposite way around so downside you come down you come up create support but hey, basically turn this upside down change the colour of the candles it's exactly the same thing so that's what you look for but still, at the minute, I'm not really keen on taking it based on all the other time frames and what me and Carlo were talking about earlier as well. You've got potential to really pull down into this level. So I'm not massively a massive fan of it. All different time frames are showing different different candles in regards to direction. It doesn't make sense to take that trade at this time. But it does look like it's got options because of that structure. But this is where you need to look at all other time frames and make sure you're in the best possible position to take a trade. And at this current time, I don't believe that's the case. So you wouldn't take that. See what I'm saying? And as we said, nothing really doing on the on the old 15. So, all the 30 minutes. So I'm gonna probably give it another 15 minutes. Or so guys, I'm probably not gonna get another trade out of this, um, sadly. But um, either way, we had a real good explanation of the one we took early on. So send some charts, and if you want to look at a few charts, you've got probably 15 minutes. I'm gonna call it a day at about half past. I appreciate everyone that's been here today. Any of you that took the trade earlier, don't forget to subscribe to the screen, whack the like, because it's a banger, you know to the to the minute to the second we said when to do what we need to do so really hope people paid attention and if you made a few quid well well done but make sure you understand the thought process and the theory behind the trade because that's the learning side of it that's the bit that's most important forget the money forget the win forget that I've done this for the gram understand the theory if you don't understand it but you still took the trade go and watch the stream again man first hour and a half go and listen up go and read what it said because it told you where to sell it we explained why we explained what these levels were we talked about daily levels which we discussed you know massively important to understand all them discussion points and the theory behind why we took that trade don't just think we took a trade yeah great i've made 50 50 quid or a or whatever it might be one pound 50 i don't care go and understand the theory and then once we break out this little range area we wait we will have some solid movement again but again we saw this last week we had a little move we had a Thursday and a Wednesday that chilled and did nothing, and that was over there. Then we had it yesterday, we broke down, and now we just chilled again. So we're getting the same similar thing. So if you can see here, chill for Wednesday and Thursday, broke up, chilled. Same Wednesday again, broke out, chilled. What happens next? Maybe we get the opposite to this down there. See what I'm saying? Just got to just map it out in your head, see what your vision is, and then wait for that opportunity to show. Uh, right, let's have a look at a few charts. And Robson, you're very welcome, very welcome. Hope you had a good day so far. Don't go over trading now. No one got over trading. Come on. Take one trade on this stream, one trade on the kill stream. You should be good for the day, right? You'll have a hell of a week. Greasy area. We like that word. I like that word. Greasy area. Aussie dollar, US dollar. Uh, if support holds and candle flips bullish take the buy yeah I'll be very cautious of these candles why are they this is what I mean when we talk about trading and having passion I would need to understand why they're doing that there that you're on 15 minute why are they doing that is that a four hour zone is it an hour level what's this to the left is that important for some reason check that out in line with this and understand if that's something massively important daily level yeah, exactly that whoever drew the big red ting 
just pay attention. What's that? Is there something there that's important on a higher time frame that you need to be aware of? Because if that's wicking into there and coming back, you may find this is a like a retest of whatever this is, maybe, to then push further down later today. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. But the idea makes sense, but understand that level. Understand that level. And also what is that move? Is that news? Is that just general movement? I don't know. That's something you need to look at. So go and check it out. But I like the idea, but just understand them theory points. Because the more you understand that side of it, you can get an even cleaner trade in your head based on your work. Not just because you've got a clean candle is not good enough. You need to understand what the wicks are. You know what I'm saying? It might be nothing, but you need to look into it. Alright, let's see this one. Euro US dollar. Is that the same as that last chart? Nah. That's Aussie, Aussie dollar, right? Yeah. Resistance has been hit. Cool. Looking for a bearish candle to form and then taking a sell. I'm down with that. It's a bit rangy. Looking at the 30 minute. You're in a bit of a range. But looking at what you're doing here. Come down. Come up. Testing the high of this range. As long as that range in regards to size is big enough for your personal trade plan. And you are happy to take point to point. And you think, right, okay, from here to here I'm happy to risk this. By all means. But I would really want to see it exceed the bottom of this green candle before I'd even consider it. Um, based on the fact that you want to exceed that candle really to confirm that you're going the other direction. One candle is not enough as you're well aware which is cool you're waiting for a second candle but I would like to see it either wick below at least and close bearish or stop below it and then look to take a trade but then look to the left and make sure you've got nothing here that's going to cause you disrespect on a high time frame. I think you should be good. Um, it would. It's a good idea should we say. It's a good plan. Good plan. I don't know what this is. Oh, I see, run area. Oh, yeah, fair play. Yeah, yeah, that's just where you got the words. I'll get you. Sensible. I think it's sensible play. Nice idea. Good options to have. Ben Heath, that was. Good work. I'll remember you for next time. Show me how that works out if you're still on stream. If not, show us tomorrow. You know, save it. You're going to journal it anyway, right? Uh, GU. So, resistance being potentially created. Good. Right, so you wait and see resistance created. Very nice option. Um, want to see price close below the line to enter yeah I see what you're saying makes sense as well again this area with the wicks in we know why this is very important this is uh, obviously this is GU I would, I would assume it's got a pretty solid level here look on your dailies and weeklies uh, oh, sorry dailies and 4 hourly and make sure you've got nothing here that's going to be a danger area uh, because obviously this rejection from this level is very similar to what we saw on GJ the way it formed for us you see what I'm saying if we're looking on the hour you can see how we got that rejection. See it on a 30 minute, exactly the same kind of thing. Very similar to what you've got there, although you've had a bit of a push the last little while. So keep it in mind. Um, but yeah, I think the idea is right. Waiting for resistance makes a lot of sense before any further downside. Always wait for that. One candle does not mean change of direction. Remember that. Um, EN. Someone's got an EN set up. I'm going to have a look at that for sure. An EN what? Sub? No, set up. <clears throat> Sorry, man. Oh. It's my um, poor language. Uh, Sid. Oh, yeah. Let me have a look at it. Hang on. Where's where's it? One sec. One minute. One area minute area don't count, bro. It don't count. It don't count. <laughs> don't count. You rejected on the one minute for the last three minutes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> quick, quick! I can grab four pips. I got four pips. I'm good. My one to one. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Nah, we're playing. We're playing. <laughs> I know. Hey, this man's gonna fleece you anyway because he's gonna buy it and just knock all you out. So, well, we've got retest to form support. Yeah, fair. It is moving up, and that's a rejection candle that's just been. I don't know what time frame is this. What is this? Ah, fifteen. So yeah, thirty minute probably wouldn't be so strong in that case because that would be more of a doji I'd expect, unless this is the second half of that thirty minute. It's probably the first part of the 30 minutes. So that's previous 30 minute candle wouldn't have closed above any of the resistance. So not yet. So you're sensibly waiting to get in above. Yeah, I think it's got a good option. As long as you're marking out stuff on the left. I mean, I can't see it. I mean, the guys I'm sure would say there's other stuff there. But we've looked at it a minute ago. So we did mark a level. Oh my days. How fire is that? Um, right, so. Where do we say? Yeah, we said safety, more safety was above here, right? Is that right? And there's a level here that we said that we didn't want to do it on an hour. That's why we weren't going to take it, right? I can't remember now. Four hour. 
daily. Ah, yeah, watch out for that. Daily resistance up in there. Well, it's wicked up until there as well. So Kevel's one minute. Rejections make sense. Right in a minute. Massively makes sense. Be very careful with buying that. Because you have got a resistance level on daily. It doesn't mean it can't be exceeded, right? You've got a decent momentum at this current point. And as we know, when, when EN does trend, it very much on the 4-hour will continue similar to this. And just keep going. It might pull back now for this four, uh, new 4-hour and then hammer it up later. But it doesn't mean you can't find a sell at this point on the lower time frame. Break this and come back down here, potentially down here. Would make sense. So keep it in mind. I think your idea makes sense. But um, you've got to time it. You're going to have to time it well. Just keep an eye on how that four hours forming, and then low, and then uh, link that with your lower time frames to see if you can find a, a sensible resistance or support forming to then take that buy if it comes to that option. Um, I pretty much only look at GJ just now. I've been wanting to add another pair to look for at when GJ isn't doing my thing. What other pairs just move similar to GJ? Um, it's a tough one, man. It depends what you want to do. I mean, it's gonna you're gonna have to t do some testing on that chart, right? Regardless, so you're gonna have to go and start working on a chart for a good couple of months to get your eye in. So, I mean, I'll probably go down if GJ's not moving. One of the Euro pairs might make more sense. Maybe EN. That's another. That's a decent backup. I mean, that's that's not a bad shout. I'll probably go and have a look at EN and see what's up, um, and and go from there. That's probably one I'd suggest. I mean, probably because I know about it as well a bit. So guys obviously they, they talk about it as well so it would be helpful especially for the stream in, in regards to getting feedback I mean EM might be a good option for you if you're going to come to stream regular because we'll have a, a good viewpoint um, my, my secondary pair normally is gold to be fair but the way it's been recently it's not really been tradable because that's my first option normally I'm on my second option now which is GJ um, and then obviously like my third option is the new thing for this year which is like EN and my long term plays are Euro Pound actually I've not looked at that much this week let's see what's up yeah, still in a peak area. Look at that, man. It's, imp it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible, man. Yeah. Impossible. That's as much I need to look at Ian to know there's no options on trading. That's it. Done. Just like that. Um, I think that if GJ is confirmed downwards, US CAD will move to the upside because of negative correlation. Cool. If that's what you notice, then cool. Do your thing. Magic Keys video is going to be wicked, mate. It's going to be cool when we do that. Actually, it's going to be helpful for everyone to understand what it's about, and then it gives. It's easier for me just talking about it all the time because I'm sure everyone gets bored of it. But you know, I've got people need to know it's it's a good bit of kit. But yeah, the video should explain it so people can literally watch it on YouTube and go, oh, fuck me, that's a good idea. So it saves me having to talk about it all the time. I'm going to say, yo, watch the video. Yo, watch the video. Yo, watch the video. Um. It's a question about Euro Yen. Can you use that to guide yourself to see what GJ is doing? Um, maybe from a safe haven perspective, if the Yen's extremely strong, you'll get that correlation in regards to you know Yen strength. Obviously, would we'll, would we'll dampen down the Euro or the pound. Um, but I wouldn't say there's any kind of major correlation or anything with them. So I wouldn't I wouldn't look into it that way. No, I'd, I'd stick to one pair. I don't like using correlations myself, to be honest. It's not really something that you need to do I don't think it's interesting to know which correlate with what sometimes because you may be able to flip from one to another chart maybe if you trade both but you know if one's going up and the other's going down you know what you're going to be doing on the other one right but I, I like to look at one thing and then understand what's happening on that one thing you know if you don't get an option like I said you don't have to trade every day and this is what I mean a lot of people tend to search for trades if you look at one chart right you can live off one chart believe me you can make a trade a day you can make two a day easy no problem at all if you're patient if you go and mess it all up in the first half hour of a stream for example because you're just jumping all up in things you're already backwards before you start and if you look at one chart and you only get two options a day and you mess up the first one because you rushed it then you take a good one and then it break even day just wasting your time every day same thing again 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 there's no point but having a secondary pad is helpful um, but I wouldn't use a correlation myself I don't see the point um, for, from a trade making perspective I mean I mean it's interesting to know things like the way um, Canadian dollar impacts oil this that and it that, that stuff's just general understanding of how stuff works that's interesting but in regards to taking trades it, I wouldn't base anything based on a correlation um, C 
Sid the Sloth. Cool name. Ian. I think so, mate. Yeah. I'll just give it a go and see, but you have to do work on it first. You can't just go, go and trade it. I wouldn't do that at all. I wouldn't advise that whatsoever. Go and look at it. Understand it. Start marking areas. See how it reacts to areas. Give it a month or two. Make a few paper trades in your head. You know, relatively sensible stop losses as you would normally use, etc. And then go from it. You know? Yeah, Sean Bowen. I think, yeah. Price action and understanding your chart specifically is a lot more sensible based on the fact that you spend more time dedicated to one thing you're going to get a lot better at that a lot quicker than spreading your time over three or four charts and missing potentially a move i know people do that i used to do it i'll be like oh i still do it now sometimes i'll be looking at this thinking oh it's a good chance of sales because kevel's one minute worked out and then i'll go and look at gold and i'll come back and I'll be like damn it i've missed the en sales and you start doing that but to get very clear on your pair's movement spending your time on one chart although it sounds boring you see everything you'll be able to pick up speed in regards to understanding noticing changes key times key candles opens that make difference you know that type of stuff you'll find a lot easier if you dedicate your time to one chart when you get to a consistent level where you're making consistent trades and you're actually consistent overall and you think you know what, I'm progressing here real good then implement things like you know what I'm going to start looking at EN or I'm going to start looking at gold or whatever it might be step by step man people that jump up in there oh look at five charts I'll take 65 trades a day trust me they ain't going to be here in six months guarantee it or if they are they'll be potless and they'll be asking for assistance and then they'll be like oh so you only look at one or two charts oh yeah oh, I might start doing that a bit late then right you know what I'm saying uh, let's look at this chart here right five minutes and I'm off so don't send no more charts if you've not sent the chart do not because I will not look at it the ones that I've seen now I will be doing going short not whether to wait until 69 or, uh, or lower 69080 well looking there looks a lot more clean that makes sense that's a rejection level here on some time frame if you're going to look at it on different time frames you may see 30 minute this looks very very key that there looks very important with this rejection level I'll be very cautious at this stage similar to this that did it here you know what I'm saying maybe below here makes more sense I think more than likely the lower one gives you the easiest play or if it breaks this one and then creates a resistance and then starts to break down you get it before it gets that yellow line then it might break that and then have a rocket do you know what I'm saying? Well, make sense, but don't forget you're looking at the hour, so don't confuse yourself when you slip down to like 15 or something and cause yourself a little bit of a problem, right? Alright, this one, what's this one saying? Basically, over there. You're taking a sell if you break down there. Come on, man, you've got to put stuff on the chart. Show me more stuff. Tell me why you're entering. Why's your target there? I'm not guessing. People can't learn from that, dude. You've got to be able to put stuff on the chart so people say, Oh, I can pause the video. My man's trading euro pound. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to read what man said about euro pound. All you're going to see is, oh, I think that's resistance and base area. They don't know why you're taking that trade. Why are you putting your stop there? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Yeah, you have to make the effort to put that stuff on there because when you journal that later on and you take a winning trade, you ain't going to understand anything about that and why you did it. And that's why I'd be like, I look back in six months, you'd be like, uh, I took a trade because I can't remember. What did I take that trade for? You don't need that. You need to be able to go back to your trades, open it and go, yo, that's everything I was thinking at the time. And that's why I took that trade and that's why it's successful or not. See what I'm saying? It's a big difference. Calm. Don't buy it. Before I know everyone's thinking it. Calm. Calm. I'll bet. I'll guarantee you people are buying that right now. Because no one's listened to the stream all morning. I sat there all that time. No one listening. Axworthy, appreciate it, man. Lot of stream. Five hundred pound donation. You must have at least five. Oh my days. Who's that? L right late on in the stream, someone messed up. Who's that? Who's that? Smart synthesis. Not so smart now, boy. Did this? Did it wrong? Have another go. Have another go. You've got. I'll let you do another one. I'll let you do it again. Everyone's seen that. Mr. Smart Synthesis messed up. If he sends another one, we'll see. Oh, he's managed to send the same shot again. Come on now. Anna Kate, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support. 
And Robinson, yes, that will be coming soon. I'll probably try and do it over the weekend if I can. It's very hard. Tom was for me is tough, man. Trying to find an extra half an hour because you know I have to go sleep sometimes. You know. <laughs> Got them coding skills. <laughs> Chris Noburn, that's the dude that sent me a question. What did I say? Chris something. It was him. He asked me a question earlier and I missed it. I swear. Just quickly, can you explain why you put your red line where you did this morning? Yeah, 100%. Where is it? Hang on. <clears throat> if that's what you asked earlier on, my bad, because I missed it and there's, there's a question about it. Right, so disregard this red candle and all this, because that wasn't there at the time. Now, we know the four hour had pushed, uh, no, hang on, was it the four hour? One hour. It was a four hour, weren't it? And we were trying to fill the wick of the four hour at the time. That's right. Okay, so this four hour had already been created. We were in this four hour at the time, which had pulled up and done its thing. Below that, I was happy to have a gap. I know it looks small now, but between there and there it was like 17, 18 pips or something, right? Look at it on the hour. That was the low it created here. That's the low of that four hour. And then what we're doing, we come up, we wanted to see resistance form, but you could see on the higher time frames, 30 minute, all these candles were not, we, this was the candle we were looking at selling, right? The eight o'clock one, that's what we were looking for. So before that, you get your sell stops ready at that area. If it pushes down with the momentum, you wanna be below where the wicks are because it might get caught out. This is the target wick, right? Which we've marked. So this is below that level, below that level, below that level, that's target, right? So at that time, we're anticipating a push. You look on 30 minute, you can see it even better. So every candle came down and didn't exceed it. None of them got into it. None of them got into it. They keep touching off it, touching off it, touching off it. Massive continuation last night of downside. Bit of a chill pre London. London volume, theoretically, if it pushes up first and we have no lower wick like it did, sell stop would be a valid option to push down because the volume normally continues similar to Asian and then we get a banging push listen to the stream bit at the start of the stream again that part was all explained in depth because you can see on all time frames how it reacted at this zone this was the lowest point i wanted to get in below all these candles to fill the four hour candle which was this gap here to here on this pink line to yellow line which was a good 17 pips or something and then from that point if we get continuation we've got a good chance to push deep and we could theoretically carry on a long way so that's why we planned it out that way like i said Go and listen up to the first hour and a half of the stream. That was very well explained. Uh, and apologies if I missed your stream question earlier. William, good morning. But it's a bit late. I'm going to go. Oh, Smart Systems had another go. Smart Synthesis. Here we go. Let's see. For the gram. It better work, I'm telling you. Oh, he did it. Oh, he lucky. He got lit off. Valid, valid, valid. This is strong resistance, looking for a short on gold. I believe it will go short if it closes below this zone to this level. That's a very, very sensible option, I think. I think it, you're valid. Like I said, when you're looking on the time frames earlier, we were talking about that 15 minute setup, just to give an idea of what we look for on a higher time frame on a normal currency pair, not gold. Um, and that's why I said don't take the trade, because now it's not worked out at all. Um, yeah, it was sensible, because you had that little area of mess in the middle. Carlo, we were talking about it early on to push down potentially as well. If we can break that level, it makes a lot of sense. But the target was if you were coming down on that sell on gold on the 30 minute or 15, target would have been this level because you may see a solid reaction. And again, it's showing that as well. So this is going to end up being a solid little zone here. And again, like you said, if you break below it and close below it, you do have a good option to push further down because there's not much there to stop it. Where you place your stop loss is going to be key at that point because obviously spread on gold is changing currently it fluctuates so be very careful with that but I think that's a good option to look for uh, but again maybe wait until you get a bit of volume in the market later on into New York potentially will get you a bit more maybe New York open equities open something like that look for that um, and see how it goes right I'm gonna call it a day another successful day million percent stream I think we've not had a loss still for a good couple of hours I don't know weeks and weeks and weeks now um this place where I lost it. Chris Noburn. Oh right, mate, yeah, no problem. Watch the first literally hour and a half of stream. Find it hour and a half in your day or this weekend. Go and watch the first part of the stream. It's very, very interesting. And you'll be able to understand that fully. 
Um, those of you who are in Slack will get a full breakdown of that later anyway, as you know. Have a great day. Do not go and mess up your day based on FOMO, based on I need to make another trade, based on oh, I've done so good today, I've got a massive confidence boost, so I'm going to take another trade. Don't be a... F just, just don't be stupid, man. Have a chill day. Do you need to trade New York? Maybe not. You know, took a trade, made 2%, call it a day, you know what I'm saying? Have a great day. Weeks don't lie, bottom right hand corner of your screen, go and watch that. Top right hand corner, if you go to the website, you will find the free chat stream, which we're all in at some point. We will discuss things in there. The guys that use that also get something out of that during the day. Um, top left hand corner, follow me on my Instagram. Um, that'll have the information of when Slack reopens and stuff like that, so pay attention to that too. Obviously, go and buy magic keys because that's the way forward, you know. And you know, I'll, I'll earn like one pound fifty or whatever it is for each one. So, pay me, chip me now. Have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Tell the world how good we did. I'll see you later on. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>